Thanks so much. Anything look different to you guys? Welcome to Magic Kingdom. Welcome back to Magic Kingdom, everybody. We need to uh, get down Main Street pretty quick and see oh, if we can catch true. a friend real quick. Sounds good. I want to walk like you, talk back to you, to you. Bunting, exactly, JJ Mickey. Magic Kingdom is getting ready for the 4th of July. Fourth of July bunting everywhere. Which is right around the corner already because uh, the end of the month is tomorrow. That's crazy. That is crazy. So welcome in to the Magic Kingdom everybody. Good to see you all. Let's see if we can make it down to uh, the end of Main Street real quick. More bunting. Cinderella Castle. Gotcha. Even more bunting. It's very crowded today. The parking lots for Magic are completely packed. And so is the park. <laughs> it's a summer day at Magic Kingdom.
good to see you, Grayson. Uh, we just came in the park at uh, 5.45 and we're like, we got to get down here to meet Grayson, otherwise... I think so, you know? I need to stop into the Emporium and get a sweater or something. All these clouds, you know, it'll, it yeah. keeps it nice and brisk. It's really, really making me depressed. It's, it's real bad. <laughs> they do not feed the birds. <laughs> Don't listen to my song. <laughs> blame, blame the Sherman Brothers. <laughs> We do that every time we get off of Small World.
I think we always have the request of your fireworks medley. Oh, fireworks. You've, seen, you've seen the fireworks though. You've seen uh, the Pat It's a good place to see it from. It's, it's kind of essential if you're going to come to the park.
So guys, that was Grayson on the piano. We're really glad that we were able to catch him at all. Oh. Always a pleasure. Thank you. You start playing that uh, fireworks medley and there's not a dry eye in the house, you know? Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, what can you do? I, it'll make you miss enchantment and stuff, though. I do miss it. I do miss it on occasion. Enchantment and harmonious. I think harmonious more so than enchantment, oh, sure. but... Uh, that was... I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. Have you seen that they're already preparing for the next one? I haven't even seen the replacement for it yet. Oh, you haven't seen uh, Epcot Forever yet? No. It was the one that also Mine's preceded it. Mine's Epcot Forever minus a little bit of stuff that Epcot Forever used to have. Like, they don't have the boats with the kites flying around. Like, it's, it's, a, it's like 11 minutes. It, it is 11 minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> it's Epcot 11 minutes. Yeah. You're uh, not missing out. <laughs> it's, it's loud. I was there for the uh, last night of Harmonious. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. We uh, we found a spot up front, and I think we sat there for about three hours for the last night of Harmonious. I, I had one of my friends chose to sat, sit and uh, reserve a our hey. spot. Well, we, were, we, we went off gallivanting doing other things. That's the way to do it. She, she sacrificed herself for the, uh, for the, for the greater cause. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, well, well, thank I'll you so much, Grayson. The, the Hoopty Doo review tomorrow? Yes, you we will. Still have, we've been checking every day. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. It, it got bucks. So yeah, you should have a you should have a full house. I got yeah. another day though. Um, the first, August right? 4th. August fourth. August fourth. August fourth. Okay. Uh, I just. Uh, well, that might be far enough day. away that we might be able we to find something. We might be able to get a reservation. <laughs> so nobody tell anybody. August fourth, Grayson's going to be at the Hoopty Doo Review. If you have I'll a reservation, with all the updates, I'll keep it coming. If you have a reservation for Hoopty Doo Review tomorrow, or you manage to find one, you might see a, a certain pianist there. So. <laughs> Well, Thank you so much, Grayson. Grayson. Have a great Bye. day. All right, we gotta look for a reservation for August fourth now. Right? Yeah, we've All been right. trying for the thirtieth for the longest time, and there's just not been any uh, openings. Right. Let's see here. So, when you're looking for a reservation for Hoop to Do review, it's a little bit different than uh, your typical dining reservation. Let's see if we can pull that up. All right, here we go. So you've got the Hoop to Do musical review and you have to check the availability. When you check the availability, it's gonna ask you for a specific party size, the time you're looking for, and there's three times each day. So like if we wanted to go tomorrow, let's go for the 30th. All right, so four o'clock, 6.15 and 8.30. Let's say we're looking for the first time, four o'clock, two people, search times. And it says, sorry, there are no times available for 4 p.m. All right, well, let's, Try the next one, 6.15, search times. Sorry, no times available for 6.15. And then 8.30, search times. Also no times available for 8.30. Right. Uh, so that's for tomorrow. I have not tried August 4th yet. Here is August 4th. Yeah, because we've been looking for the 30th uh, since Grayson told us about it. It's just been packed. So on August 4th, if we search 4 p.m. for two people, there's a table available at 4 p.m. Let's check 6.15. Nothing available for 6.15. How about 8.30? There's one available at 8.30. So if you wanted to do it, honey, we could do 4 o'clock or 8.30. Well, that's fantastic. Do right? you, um, what would you think? What's the difference? Is there two different shows or is it all just like... I think it's just a different time of day that's uh, done three times. Oh, so they do the show three times a day? Yeah. It's, gotcha. a, uh, it's a dining dinner show all right let's see here with that being said guys it's 607 let's run over to the uh, crystal art store let's see what time Kevin's doing a presentation uh, and then we're gonna make our way over towards Frontierland for a cavalcade and a hoedown and then we're going to do some uh, some rides so you want to head over to uh, the crystal arts yeah you want to say hi to everybody right let's do it oh Disney, the Disney voice had the same idea. <laughs>
Oh. What's happening? Dance the world. International performance featuring dancers from all over the world. Well, let's go check that out. Let's do that. That sounds neat, right? Right. All right. In the meantime, right. guys, we are the park hoppers. <laughs> Welcome in. We're Eric and Monica. We go live from the parks all the time now, guys. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to go check out this Dance the World thing. Yeah, Dance Around the World right? or something. Let's go check that out. Let's do it. If you're new here, guys, uh, we go live from the parks all the time. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button, guys. Thank you so much for over 100 likes already. Let's go check out this Dance the World thing. Yeah. I mean, I like the music so far. Just gotta find a spot for it. Do they just dance in the center or do they like I think walk it's, down? I think it's gonna be like a parade. Oh, Chef Davis is like, do the perfect cast. As soon as they uh, stop allowing people to go back and forth between here, we'll, uh, we'll move off a little bit. Sounds good.
So I guess that was Dance the World, guys. That was really cool. Apparently Megan participated in Dance the I World. I was about to say, I'm like, that looks like one of the outfits that we were talking about with Megan the other day. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. That's quite an entrance to Magic Kingdom. That's really cool. That group just kept coming and coming and <laughs> That was crazy. I like how they came down uh, Main Street's eye to eye though. Yeah, amazing song choice. Like, so cool. Alright, you want to start uh, making our way towards Frontierland then? Yeah, let's head towards Frontierland for the cavalcade. Let's do it. Only difficulty, we'll be finding our way that direction. Yeah. Alright, watch your step on it. But I mean, I'm here, man. But that was amazing, like, all the family and friends down Main Street just cheering them on like that. So cool. Absolutely. Oh, that's funny, Mr. Disney King's like, someone made a fortune off of those dresses. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Hey, Marty M. Hey, JJ, Mickey. Hey, JJ, Mickey, and Marty, good to see you guys. Thank you for being here. Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. Yeah, Megan, as soon as I saw their outfits, I was like, oh my gosh, we were talking about this dress the other day. <laughs> that's so cool. Hey Kit! Hey Rockstar MK! Thought I wanted to have a limp today, but I have a stupid limp today. Oh no, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Hey Mike! Hey Mr. Disney King! Hey Debbie! Hey Wayne! Hey Raphael! Hey Joey M! Hey Joey! Hey Zori! Hey Jenna! Hey Wayne! Hey Kit! Hey Sapphire! Alright, we're gonna make our way over here. Hey Raphael, yeah, it's a little bit busy, but uh, not as busy as we thought based off the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, the parking lot was full, but I think we found uh, maybe what some of those uh, cars might have uh, belonged to. Oh, that makes so much sense because of the dance! There were oh. a lot of dancers, and I'm sure there were a lot of families wanting to see those dancers today. Oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Hey Disney Kim, hey Brian! Hey, Alex J. All right, guys. Hey, Ting for Life Jones. Hey, Fred. Hey, Rusty. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Lots Cooper. Great to see you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today at Magic Kingdom. It's, it's like a beautiful day. It's a little warm, but like... I guess it's to be expected. It's summer in Florida, you know? It is. Guillermo, we're heading right now towards uh, Frontierland for the last cavalcade of the day. Yeah. The Adventure Friends Cavalcade begins at 625, makes its way down Frontierland towards Main Street. So we'll catch that cavalcade and then we'll catch the hoedown, which follows it by about 10 minutes or so. And then we'll head out, uh, do some rides. Maybe run back down to uh, Main Street to see if we can catch Kevin, the ga uh, glass blower. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a good Magic Kingdom evening. Sounds good. Oh, Mr. Disney King says, anyone buy their tickets for Jollywood Nights Hollywood Studios party? Thinking about buying mine today? That's awesome, Mr. Disney King. That looks like a really cool uh, Christmas party at Hollywood Studios. It does. Where should we catch the hoedown from? Where or the uh, the cavalcade. Oh, the cavalcade. Wherever you wish. Do you want to go over wanna... there in the street? Yeah, we go on the other side. Where it's like the chain. I think all the Red Vest cast members were having some sort of meeting there. It did that or enjoying the fan. 
All right. Which makes sense. Well, right, it does. So here you go, guys. Oh, boy. Hey, the mayor. It is a very hot day today. It's 6:20 right now. Uh, the fireworks are in three hours, so we'll be catching happily ever after tonight. Uh, that goes from uh, 9:20 to 9:38. Uh, if you're here for that. Also, we're going to be catching some rides, some shows, maybe do like country bear room, things like that if you'd like. Uh, and we're just going to enjoy our day here at Magic Kingdom tonight. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Rockstar is going to be here in two weeks. That's awesome. That is awesome. Hope you're packed and ready. Make sure you bring a water bottle, maybe a fan. <laughs> Clothing that are good for the heat. Ponchos, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question, Charlie Orlando. We'll see. Hey, Andrew. I'm hey, Madison. Not even sure if they're still doing it. So I'm oh, the princess is after the fireworks? Yeah. I'm not sure. I hope they're still doing that. So, guys, the cavalcade begins in about three minutes. If you're new here, once again, guys, we are the Park Hoppers for Monaco and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now. Thank you for being here. Uh, we're about to see a cavalcade, which is like a small parade. It's yes. the Adventure Friends Cavalcade, also known as the Vamos Cavalcade, the Kicking Cavalcade. It's arguably our favorite cavalcade that Disney made, uh, and it is the only one that Disney kept. So uh, we're hoping to, see, uh, hoping to see that, and then we're going to see the hoedown, which follows right after, which is kind yes. of like a, uh, a flash mob. Dance party. Uh, a country style hoedown flash mob. Dance party. Dance party. Country style. And then from Both there, guys, pie. we're going to go do some rides and stuff like that. If that kind of thing sounds like fun to you, we do this a lot, guys. Uh, so please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you for being here, guys. Any hey, snacks Martin. today? Uh, none on the agenda for today, Guillermo, but, you know, there's always room. Always room. <laughs> oh, we did a snack last time. That's true. <laughs> Ooh. Let me see. Did I say hi to Martin already? Hey, Martin Hill. Hey, see. Carrie. Hey, Simon Rogers. We hope that uh, you and Joe are doing well, Carrie. Hang in yes, there. Yes, Carrie. Alright. Just hang in there. Much love, much support from us. If you need us. Right, just, know. yeah, let us know, we're here. Hey, Robert. Marty, I was like, don't you want to answer the call anymore? We <laughs> must answer the call after Harmonious. We do miss answer the call. Marty, I'm always said to answer the call Marty, after I'm, Harmonious. Yes, always. Oh, you're eating veggie straws? Enjoy, Zori. Alright guys, just over one minute left before the cavalcade. Yes. We're normally on the other side of the cavalcade, so we switched it up today. We're like, there's more shade over there, so let's enjoy it from this perspective. Exactly. Hey David! Yeah. Thank you all for being here guys, and welcome all ninja watchers as well. Thank you guys for being here. Oh, it is hot. It is. Goodness. That shade, or the uh, breeze feels really nice right now though. Oh yeah. I already have my fan with me anyways though. <laughs> oh, Alright. Oh, Megan's like, oh Marco, you're not wearing a bucket hat. No, it's hot today. Most of my bucket hats trap heat. Um, so these baseball caps are just better at like ventilation. The Adidas ones. Uh, yeah. But she's also been wearing kind of a bucket hat of Adidas. I think it's more of a I wore the hat, I wore the boonie hat the other day, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my chat stops. No wonder. Hey, why it's Grampy. Uh, ninja watchers are those who watch and join us, but just don't um, want to chat. Exactly. And that's totally cool and okay with us. So, we just like to say hello to them as well to make sure they feel included. Because, like, that's one of the things we love about our channel is making everybody feel very welcome. Exactly. No, is guys, there a bee around you? Uh, there's plenty in the bushes behind us. Oh my goodness. Uh, before <laughs> the cavalcade comes down, let's go ahead and do a quick refresh. Just because the chat's completely stopped here. There we go. Uh, so we're going to do a quick refresh, guys, and then we're going to enjoy the, ho uh, the cavalcade and then the hoedown. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we should be back. 
with all that being said, we see the very start of the cavalcade making its way down. Let's go ahead and turn it around so you guys can see what we see. We'll zoom Sounds it in and see if we can show a little bit of it. And we hope you guys enjoy the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. Enjoy the cavalcade, guys. Hey, Jack, that's awesome. Yes, if you guys ever see us anywhere, please feel free to say hi. Hey Holly, hey Grasshopper's wife, hey Grasshopper and Little Grasshopper, great to see you guys. Cavalcade is on its way. Grasshopper's wife, happy birthday! Happy birthday Grasshopper's wife! Hope you're having a wonderful day of celebration. Hey Patrick Julian! I see Turk already. You see Turk? <laughs> Oh no, Turk's on the other side. Turk's not going to know to even look for us over here. Oh no! That's why we don't come to this side. <laughs> oh no, poor Turk. There's a spot of shade right there if you want. You want to go to that side real quick? It's up to you. We can? Yeah. It's got to be quick. Consider the fact that we can't see it coming at all from here, though. Oh no! I might walk up to that point up there. Okay. Step into the pin store for a second. Oh, 
we hope you guys enjoyed the Adventure Prince Cavalcade. It was hot out there. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Cool. Okay, good. How are you? I always forget to bring the pin, the pins to trade, but I'm like, I still like seeing the ones that are available. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one's pretty classic, that Mickey pin trading one. That is very classic. I like the Pinocchio one. It's very arty, artistic. True. And the number of times we've gone to say something today and just the sun will get to you uh, and yeah. you'll say... Short circuit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> What's that one? I'm not sure. Uh, I believe it's... it's a uh, I don't know the character's name, but it's for bed knobs and broomsticks. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Well, that one's a deep cut. Is that supposed to be King Trident? I think it's uh, old Obi-Wan. Oh. <gasps> oh, that one's cool. <laughs> yeah. Because like uh, Tsum Tsum style. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I love the Oswald. He seems like it's very like an expression like Donald Duck style, you know? True. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. What else? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. We love seeing that cavalcade as often as we can, really. We do. Oh, these villains. Right? Are those villains? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because that's Maleficent. Then you have Hook, you have Ursula, and then Jafar. Those are really cool. Exactly, Jenna. Good to see you, by the way. Good to see you, Jenna. Good to see you, Tupperware with Nancy. Uh, good to see you, Spetsdod. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Life of a Roller. Good to see you, Rockstar. Yeah, so uh, if we were to buy this lanyard and say we didn't like Hook, this pen in particular, I, I don't know why I'm singling out Hook, but let's say Aww, we didn't like Hook, hook. right? Uh, so just like he got his Hook from the secondhand store, we could walk <laughs> right up to uh, any of the... Thank you, Lily Bell. <laughs> I understand. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> so we could walk up to any of the pen boards, and we could say, you know what? We want to trade Hook for, say, that uh, that old Obi Wan Zoom Zoom style pen. And then what they would allow us to do is we'd hand them this pen, and then we'd get that pen off of the board. It's a very neat uh, process. It makes it a lot of fun for the kids, especially, or for collectors. If they see anything that they uh, they really just need to have, they can trade for it. Hey, Mr. Knight. Good to see you again. Hey, Mr. Knight. So, yeah. Pretty neat stuff. What a lot of people will do is they'll buy one of these lanyards and then they'll put their favorite pens on it. When they go into the park, if uh, there's a pen that they'd prefer more than that pen that they have on the lanyard, they'll take it off the lanyard and trade it. I'm surprised they still have the Wishables lanyard. The Wishables? Yeah. Yeah, I love that one. For those of you who don't know, Wishables are kind of the plushes that predated uh, the uh, munchlings. munchlings. Thank you. That's a good cover, right? That's perfect. Okay. And this one's kind of Zoom Zoom style. Speaking of Zoom Zooms. Very kawaii. Marty M says the Liberty Bell loves to interrupt Eric. That's that true. It just means Eric talks too much. you need. Yeah, I always love checking out the pin boards and seeing what pins are available for trading. Uh, we really need to remember to bring our pin lanyard one of these days so we could start trading in the parks. Absolutely. Is this a giant, giant, giant alien pin? Uh, ginormous, maybe. My world revolves around pizza and it spins. Oh, that's pretty cool. Those two pins are $17.99. That's not bad. <laughs> I mean, if I was to buy anything here, I would definitely want to get like a, a starter set or something because the starter set's really cool. It brings the lanyard and some like pins to start. And like Eric was saying, if there's any pins you don't like, those, you get ready to start trading those off, you know? Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. Mr. Disney King says, back in the day, cast members used to wear green lanyards, which meant only pin trading for kids. No adults can pin trade on green lanyards. They have oh, since wow. taken those away. I'm just glad that they brought lanyards back in general because for the longest time cast members didn't have the lanyards for pin trading and now they finally do again. Exactly. Oh, that's a cool lanyard. Look at how thick that is. Oh, I haven't seen this one before. Right? What does it say? Uh, greatest in the galaxy a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Wow, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I would like it so um, thick around my neck no, though. No, I, I wouldn't want that around my neck either. But it is really cool. 
All right, the hoedown should be starting in less than a minute. You want to go ahead and head on out there? Yeah. And no, guys, we are not cast members. We are not. But to those who are cast members and are watching, thank you for making the magic. Absolutely. And somebody was asking about a Gaston pin the other day. There is a Gaston pin right there. Oh, that is a Gaston pin. You were able to find the Gaston pin in the mystery pack, but that's like a legitimate Gaston official pin. That's Gaston awesome. and Yzma, those are two pretty rare to see characters on pins. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and head on up. Okay. There's Big Al. Mr. Knight's looking for a Mac pin from Cards. Oh, really? I don't think I've ever seen a Mac, Mac? pin. I haven't seen that.
That was the hoedown, everybody. That is a really fun, fun thing that they do here at Disney. Yeah, and they do this uh, twice a day, guys. <laughs> you did, please understand. Oh, Carrie says, just got back to the hospital, and Joe says to send, uh, says to, oh yeah, okay, to send his love to you all, and he'll be back good as new. <laughs> That's Thank awesome. you so much, Carrie, for sharing that with us. Thank you, Joe. Sending you the best wishes, all the love, all the support, always, guys. And once again, if you need anything, just let us know. Absolutely. With that being said, guys, let's uh, let's find something to ride. Yeah. You want to? Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the ride times. Yeah, let's head towards uh, Main Street real quick. Go see if we can uh, catch Kevin if he's uh, presenting right now. And then we'll make our way over towards uh, Tomorrowland, maybe. Let's head that way. Yeah, because uh, I think uh, Kevin or Charlie should have one more show today. Right? Hello, Levi. Oh, that's... That's fantastic. 
fantastic. Hope you guys are having an awesome celebratory day. Let's head out of Adventureland. Do you want to head right, maybe? Yeah. Of course, Carrie. Can't wait to see Joe back at it at the park. Hey, Peyton. Hey, Huda Dave. Hey, Lauren. Hey Valenti, hey Plymouth Rock. All right, guys. Okay, wait. Hey Ken, hey Theo. It's a busy day. Hey, please understand and thank you so much. Glad you enjoyed the photo. Exactly. Kids having fun, living their best life. That's. Like one of the greatest parts of uh, Walt Disney World. For sure, Jenna. And adults acting like kids because they're having the time of their lives. Hey, Disneyland. Right. It's a little difficult to navigate. But just a wee bit, yeah. Hey, Bo Peep, my girl on Disney Mom 19. Sounds good, Rockstar. Looks like we lost signal a little bit back there, but we should be coming back now. Good to know that uh, most of that dead spot is gone. Well, we are going back down again. Interesting. <laughs> but Baker Nutty just said, get a cheeseburger egg roll. Oh my goodness. Well, um, are the cheeseburgers better than the pizza? Because uh, we heard the pepperoni pizza egg rolls are the best. That is what we've I heard. I don't know because we've not had any. Um, do you guys say the cheeseburger egg rolls are better? Spring rolls? Or the pizza egg rolls? The spring rolls. I keep saying egg rolls. You do keep saying egg rolls. Sorry about that. Very cool there. Hey, Kelly. Please understand the what? <laughs> so they are spring rolls uh, at a cart just outside of Adventureland. And there's Paige and Mr. Morrow. Hey, Nate. It's Nate! Nate! Hey, good to you? see you. Have a good day. Oh, yeah. When we got here, like, oh my gosh, it's so packed that they had these um, dancers from all around the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they had it, yes. Did you catch like, that? Oh, that makes sense how the park a lot. Yeah. Pack. A lot of family and everything. Have you having a good day so far? Always. Yeah. Oh my God. When you're at Disney, you can't not have a good day, right? Very true. <laughs> We're live right now. You don't have to. If you'd like to, would you like to say hi to everyone? Oh, sure, yeah. Oh, hey. Guys, it's Paging Mr. Morrow. Hey. I'm sure you've seen his vlogs, but if you haven't, check him out on YouTube. That's at Paging Mr. Morrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just Paging Mr. Morrow. I watch yeah. you guys live all the time. It's well, always so fun. Much, it's, it's always a pleasure. to see people, you know, just hanging out and enjoying the park. That's, that's why we do this. We, yeah. We do our best to make it so that if anyone can't be here, they get to feel like they are. You know? Yep. And yep. that's that's what it's all about. But with Nate's uh, vlogs, guys, we have watched Nate for years. years. Right. So yeah, like since uh, like the quarantine times, really. I really? Think you were. Yeah, yeah. Isn't yeah. it crazy that we say years now? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it feels like it was just yeah. Honestly, I feel like sometimes it was just yesterday. March 2020 yeah. felt like it was just a couple months ago. It's 2023. <laughs> <laughs> we look good for age, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, that's uh, awesome. It was nice yeah. running into you. I'm on my way out. Oh. It was, it's too hot. I've been I, here all day. Do you want to borrow this? Oh, no, those come in handy, though. They do. <laughs> they do. They come. I tried wearing the neck ones. I don't like the neck ones. No. Like they the, hurt. Yeah. Yeah, it, like the heat rush. Not yeah. Not so. no. But these are awesome. But it yeah. keeps like... Uh, we did a mountain challenge thing on Sunday, yeah. so I had this the whole day, and then the following day, we did the Simple Plan concert on yep. one day. Nice. Oh, but I was, it was Stitch Day, right? Oh, yeah, 626 Day, yeah. I only own one Stitch shirt, and that's a spirit jersey. Oh, I was hot. very stubborn. Yeah. He told me, don't do it. I'm like, I don't care, it's my only Stitch shirt. I like wearing and spirit jerseys it. sometimes during the I melted. Count. We forgot the umbrella. We, my wow. fan died within five minutes of entering the park. Wow, that's yeah. And I was like, oh, this is not going to be a good day. Like, we're going to enjoy it, and we're yeah. going to make the best of it. <laughs> and I bet you did. 
Yeah, oh, no, yeah. it was great. Yeah. The concert it was, was great. Awesome. You yeah. went to see we them, right? To yeah, I did get to see them. Yeah. How was it? Uh, we, we got a we got a picture with the drummer, Jeff the lead guitarist. And, uh, I can't remember the other guy's name, but they're both really yeah, cool. they're they cool guys. Yeah, they really are. And we figured the other two didn't come out because they were there with their families and everything. So I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But they were so nice. Yeah. Well, we didn't mean to stop you on your way out. We know you've been here a while. <laughs> you and my kids are like on the camera. They always scream me. I'm like, stop. We do. Do you want to take a quick selfie with me on this video? Yeah, we'll just say bye to him when he's done taking a photo. Okay. Yeah, guys, so that's Mickey says, Nate says fancy. He does say fancy. Everyone's like, Nate says fancy. Yeah. I do, it's very fancy. Well, have fun. See you guys. Thanks so much, Nate. All right. Always awesome seeing Nate in the parks. Always just, when you guys see him do his vlogs and everything, one of the nice things about Paige and Mr. Marl, he's very, very much himself on and off camera. Oh, yeah. He's like, I think he's even nicer in person than he is on his vlogs. <laughs> but like so cool always a pleasure but be my girl anywho's <laughs> anywho's yeah charlie orlando says eat a cheeseburger egg roll it sounds like some sort of a tiktok challenge to me is it a tiktok thing but i've heard uh i think jj mickey is the one who told us the pizza egg rolls were it's uh spring rolls were it's at yeah hey gans and melissa hey will hey nancy Great to see you guys. We're on our way to the Crystal Art Store. Yeah. We're gonna see if Kevin and or Charlie are in there making anything. Sounds good. Yeah, the shift manager. It was raining a lot yesterday. We're very thankful that it's clear skies today. It's a little hot, but uh, we'll take the clear skies over the pouring rain. Oh, any day, yeah. Hey, Dino. Watch your Stephanie. Hey, the shift manager. All right, let's see who's here today. I think I see Miguel there. Yes, sir. Oh, nope. No more clock between there and done for the day. Oh, no, they're done for the day. <laughs> oh, dang. Missed them. Well, they might not have been here today. That's true, too. Beautiful, beautiful pumpkins, as always. Some I was awesome like, is anything vases. new? They're making a lot of cups. And we, a lot of we've seen this one before. We've seen this one? Okay. Yeah. We've seen all three of these bases before. But these are some new cups up above them. That's true. Yeah, those are really neat. Love that swirl. Oh, so these are only fifty dollars here. That's good to know. And then these large ones should be $60. No, they're $50 as well. I think they're trying to clear out the ones that they have here. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Marty M, thank you so much for dropping Nate uh, Page and Mr. Morrow's link in the chat. That's his YouTube channel, guys, if you would like to check it out. And consider subscribing, that'd be awesome. Any new pumpkins? Um, I don't think new, but they we're are looking. beautiful. I think these are all the, oh, no, because that's the pumpkin that was uh, underneath the expensive castle. Right. Okay, yeah, so these are all the same pumpkins that we've seen previously. I love so nothing new out and about. Here's your favorite vase. This green one I, with I the gold specks. That one is really pretty. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. My favorite's gone. Your favorite's gone? The pink one. Oh, the pearl one. Yes, it is. Plymouth Rock says, those are nice. Yeah, I love all the pumpkins to Plymouth Rock. I'm a big pumpkin fan. We actually had one made um, for us, and we need to still put that out as a vlog one of these days. We do. We do. We do, however, like Marty M just dropped, have a vlog showing uh, both Kevin and Charlie working on an amazing, amazing piece. I love this uh, ornament as well. So if you guys want to check that out, by all means, we totally understand. Thank you so much for it. Um, we really appreciate that. Yeah, because like, um, they usually put out their more recent pieces up here. Right. But since they may not have been in today or may have left already. Well, I mean, obviously they left already. But I don't know if they were even in today. I don't think they were in today because they seem to have everything set out kind of like it's a presentation. So I do think uh, they weren't here today. Oh, Raphael, I'll definitely check that out. Thank you, Raphael. All right. 
Well, with all that being said, it is now 7 p.m. We have two hours and 20 minutes before fireworks. Let's take a look at some wait times. It's been a while since we moved some people. You want to head over that direction? Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Let's go catch a people mover ride, guys. Alrighty. Hating the Starbucks line is short. <laughs> Would you like a Starbucks? I was thinking about it if the line is short. Well then, it looks like it is. Let's see. Absolutely. We're almost at a thousand followers on there. We are very close to a thousand. I think we're within 40 followers of, uh, of a thousand followers on Instagram now, which we're, is awesome. Yeah, we're really close. Oh, everybody's using the code for emojis. Let's see here. Wow. Okay. Well, I was going to say we're also very close to uh, 5,200 and... Uh, 50 subscribers, but uh, I guess I'm a little late to say that. Let's take a look and show you guys what I mean. Oh, everybody's using a mix of the coffee emojis. That's awesome. <laughs> thank you guys. So cool. And guys, thank you so much for 5,260 subscribers now. We really appreciate that. That's amazing. Thank we are you. 40 away from 5,300. I wonder if we can hit that today. That would be amazing. Right? Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate that. Thank you guys. So we are going to get a coffee and then we're going to head out towards uh, some rides. We might have to get in something that has a longer wait time than uh, the people mover though in order to drink our coffee. Oh, I didn't think about that. But you know, it's an outdoor ride. I wonder if we can take it. Oh no, they make us throw it away. That's great. Yep. I remember now. <laughs> hey Callie, I have the uh, Disney Parks Halloween lounge slide from last year. That's true. Oh, you want to show it? All right. Pretty awesome. You got it? Yep. Alright, Tracy. Oh, thank you so much. Tracy says she just followed us on TikTok and Instagram. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Marty wants to know what's the order tonight? <laughs> Marty, I'm thinking. <laughs> you know what they have? They have these brand new drinks. Um, these frozen lemonades. Frozen lemonades. They have a frozen strawberry acai refresher with lemonade, a frozen pineapple passion fruit refresher with lemonade. And a frozen mango dragon fruit refresher with lemonade. Those all sound really uh, refreshing. They do sound refreshing. Is that what you'd want? I want coffee. Okay. Like, I know those have caffeine, which is um, something I'm looking forward to in the coffee. But uh, I think I'm definitely wanting something coffee related. Carrie says, thank you for this, but Joe is not feeling great, so we are going to spend some time with him. Totally of course, understood. Carrie. Joe, sending our love, our support, guys. We know if anyone's going to come out of that feeling better than they did before, it'll be Joe. So, oh yeah, hang in there, guys. He has the best energy I've like ever. <laughs> so, C and M Custom Signs is in the house. Good to see you, Adrian. Money. We will be announcing our four-part challenge very soon. Oh yeah, because uh, you guys helped us get to 5,000 subscribers. We got to do a four-part challenge. Uh, so we'll be announcing that very soon, as soon as we uh, have the date worked out. We're still trying to figure that out because the 4th of July is this weekend. Oh yeah, that's uh, true. Well, technically Tuesday, I think. But, but very uh, soon. Yeah. It'll make doing something like that a little bit more difficult. Uh, but uh, in the week or two to come, we should be uh, having something like that set up. Oh, Callie, thank you so much. Yeah, I love this lens light. It's a lot larger than the regular mini size one. So if it's um, our gigantic water bottle, really awesome. <laughs> Sam Eagle says, nice, 5,259 other people know you to her amazingly nice as I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It is very hot here in Fortiquet, absolutely. Do you know what you want to share? 
We could share something. You want to just do the normal then? Oh, do you want to show really quick the blue Magic Kingdom tumbler? Sure. Pretty neat tumbler. And that is forty dollars. Also for cold beverages only, so I'm assuming hand wash only. Uh, Kate, yes, it is very hot in Florida, especially during summertime. You know. Hey, John. So guys, we're here at the Main Street Bakery, which is known as the Starbucks location here in the park. We're going to be uh, getting a coffee of some sort to keep us going. Jocelyn McMillan says, I followed you on TikTok. Well, thank you so much, Jocelyn. Thank you, Jocelyn. Hey, Wendy Logan. Good to see you again. Wendy Logan says, hi, Park Hoppers. It was so cool to have met you the other day. I love you guys. Oh, well, thank you so, so much, Wendy. Wendy. It, was it was such a pleasure to meet you and hang out with you during the hold down. It was. Oh, and CNM Custom Sign says, just got back from the dentist. Oh no. Hang in there, CNM. Glad it's over though. Theo Sam Eagle says, the dishwasher is the enemy of everything Disney. That's very true. <laughs> Especially anything Starbucks uh, related. Oh yeah. The shift manager, yeah, we saw it the other day and we actually posted um, on all our them. social medias, yeah. yeah. We posted a video on the new Tiana's Bayou uh, Adventure Tower. The water tower with the uh, tiara on top and everything. It was very cool. It was. I think we might be up next. David Hanson. Hey Disneyland. And thank you so much Marty for dropping the link to our shirt of Tiana's uh, Bayou Adventure Water Tower. We really appreciate that. Oh Eric S, you'd be surprised. A lot of people drink uh, coffee hot. In the heat. Thank you. 
you guys? I got a iced white mocha with the extra shot of espresso. Yep. I do like that Joffrey's is a little cheaper in regards to the extra shot of espresso. True. But and I do like general, my white chocolate. A little cheaper. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we need to get Joffrey's next time. Granted, they are smaller also. But yeah. All right, guys, so we are going to be getting our coffee here in a moment. Oh, I think I forgot to ask for a cup of water. I'll ask for that when I get my coffee. Okay. I think oh, no, is that so much ice? Oh, no. That means that there's less milk, at least. Maybe. So we're not sure yet, the shift manager. We have a reservation for Magic Kingdom, just in case. Uh, but we're trying to find out whether or not we're going to be with family that day. And we'll go from there. During the 4th of July. There's the 4th of July one here at uh, Magic Kingdom and the one over at Epcot, uh, which also occurs the right. same night. Let's it's, head out. There's yeah. a bunch of flies in here. All right. All right. So, so that's the coffee we got. Yep. It doesn't look like an extra shot, but I did ask and they said yes. Okay. But uh, hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> hopefully. All right. Let's make our way out of here. Did sure. you drink some? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Tastes good. Yeah? Yeah. You want some water? Sure. Thank you. I don't taste that extra shot. Uh, Alright, next time, guys, we're going to try Joffrey's. Alright, guys. So, we're heading out of the Starbucks location. Uh, where should we head to next? You want to um, make our way towards the people mover and just drink the coffee fast? Or... Do you want to head Let towards? Let me um, open up the app. Okay. To see what wait times are looking like. Do you want to head towards Haunted? Haunted's a really low wait time. Yeah, let's head towards Haunted. So is Pirates. It's the same. <laughs> I just don't. Oh, let's see. Let's uh, let's, let's do. Let's finish seeing the wait. Hold on. Okay. Wow, everything's a pretty low wait time. Yeah, most of the people cleared out after uh, after the dance party, I think. That's amazing. Okay. So let's head, to mm -hmm. let's head towards uh, Haunted then, because we did Pirates last time. Sounds good. Hey, Matthew Mouse. Hey, Matthew. Let's head on that way. <laughs> Mr. Disney Games, like, the betrayal from Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's usually a hit or a miss at both Starbucks and Joffrey's. It just depends. Um, the only difference, I think, primarily is Joffrey's is a little bit more affordable than Starbucks um, overall. Especially because you can apply your um, annual pass holder discount. Right. Which is really nice over at Joffrey's. I know, I spilled water. Okay. I was like, what was that? That was me. Gotcha. Uh, um, will you hold one or the other, though? Yeah. I just don't know which one you want. Gotcha. The shift manager. It was a dance group that was kind of uh, walking down Main Street as a parade more than anything else. Uh, it wasn't really a, a dance party per se. Hey, Pat from Chicago. Hey, Pat from Chicago. But yeah, it was an awesome... Um, I'm going to call it a dance party. I feel like it was a dance party because like everybody in the crowd was like all into it. It was pretty fun. Uh, and the music they had was the Goofy movie. So that was just pretty awesome because you don't really hear the Goofy movie uh, soundtrack too often. That's true. Alright guys. 
we're gonna go catch Haunted Mansion. As always. Oh, that's awesome, Sean. Oh no, the sun is on this side. <laughs> You think Tiana is out and about saying hi? No, I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, I was eating some ice. I'm pretty sure the last time that she comes out is around four or something. Gotcha. I miss the uh, I miss the Muppets being there. Hey, it's on the cycling. We are staying cool. We're drinking water and drinking coffee. We are staying hydrated and staying cool. It's a very hot day today. Yeah, her window is closed and everything. Oh no, Tiana went to we go to the menu adventure. Maybe she's working. Do you think she's working on her value adventure? Uh, she might be overseeing it a little bit, sure. She's very handy. That's true. Hey, Slicer. It's currently hot. <laughs> Uh, 90 something? Yeah. I just don't know exactly what. Alright, guys. Just gotta navigate the crowds a little bit. And we'll be at 100. The humidity's not. As bad as it has been the last few days. Not today. I think all the rain yesterday helped a lot with that. So there's yeah. kind of not a cloud in the sky right now. I mean, there's those little ones up there that you can barely see. Other than that, pretty clear day. According to our weather app, it is currently 91 degrees and the real fill in the sun is 98. Well, that is not a 25 minute wait, but that's all right. All right. Maybe everybody saw 25 minutes on the app and headed this way. <laughs> yep, we took too long. Destination yeah, Disney. I'm sorry. Honey. Destination Disney TV says that's not accurate. It's 94 degrees. David Hampton says, send up some rain. Oh, we got no rain to send, unfortunately, today, but uh, hopefully you get some rain then, uh, David Hampton. All right, this weight shouldn't be too terrible. It does appear to be moving pretty well. Now, one of the things about uh, summertime, lines are just a thing. Hey, hey Becca. Yeah, it's a bit crowded. It may be from all the uh, the dance group that um, from today earlier. You know. Well, like you were saying also earlier, it's uh, the start of the Fourth of July weekend. Oh, that's fair. A lot of people are here because it's a holiday weekend. Plymouth Rock says, no bucket hat today, Monica, switching it up, nice. Yeah, Plymouth Rock, I was like, it's hot. My bucket hats, I love them, but um, many of them trap too much heat in between the hat and my head, so it gets like extra warm. So just trying to be more safe. Oh, Wendy Logan says the weather actually feels great here in Lakeland. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Welcome back, Rockstar MK. Hey, Rockstar. Disneyland says school's out, that's why the big crowds. That's well, that makes a lot of sense, too. But yeah, the school being out, plus it's a holiday weekend. That's fair. Hey, Andrew. 
Andrew says the Haunted Mansion cast was at Disneyland this week actually working at the ride. That's awesome. I saw photos of that. Yeah, it was like Jamie Lee Curtis was there, Owen Wilson. Hey, John Messina. Go visit him at Hollywood Studios. Okay. I don't know where though. We'll have to catch him in the next come back room. Yeah. Oh, well, Rafael Aquino says vacation period in Brazil as well. It must be full of Brazilians for the next couple weeks. Oh, maybe a lot of tourists. Yeah. Makes sense. It is Disney. It is. Rockstar MK, this is Haunted Mansion. Liberty. Oh, that must have been the Liberty Bell's last go round. I think so. Alright, let's catch Joshua again. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah. It's so loud. It you is very loud. Again? I was just going to trade it back so you can continue drinking the coffee. You didn't want any more? Oh, it's good. Where are you going to the studio? Oh, where? Okay. 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 By the uh, tower chair. Oh, that's awesome. We have we have to go. Yeah. That's that's their next coaster to uh, adventure. I did. That's my 254 coaster that I've been on. Goodness gracious. Good to see you, Joshua. Hey, Jeff Condon. Rafael Aquino says, uh, my family is visiting Disney for the next couple of weeks. Couldn't go due to work, but I get to go almost every day watching the stream, so everything is good. That's awesome, Rafael. That is awesome. Great to see you, Jeff Hannon. We hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday, guys. It's almost Friday. It is almost Friday. We are now two hours out from Happily Ever After, everybody. Time flies. It does. Hey, Matt. Thirty-five minutes is the current uh, wait time. Oh no. Oh no, a little one does not want to go <laughs> into haunted mansion. Christy Jane. Hey, Christy Jane. Hope you and Michael are doing awesome and having a wonderful evening, guys. Mr. Disney King says, oh man, that music is just bringing me back, sending me back to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Are you going to go this year, Mr. Disney King? I don't think, we didn't go last year. Last year, the party we went to was the uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Right. Yeah. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to attend any of the parties this year. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. Hey, well, the thriller. Good to see you. And on the right hand side is the pet cemetery. You want to switch? Sure. I can hold this one while you if you need to zoom in. Yeah. Yep, up at the top of the Pet Cemetery, everybody. Mr. Toad from Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Still wonder whether or not uh, Br'er Rabbit will end up in the Pet Cemetery. That's my theory, he will. Mr. Disney King says, I'll be there for Halloween week for Halloween Corner to Universal and we'll most likely go to one night of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party this year. That's awesome. That is awesome. Wendy Logan says we waited 75 minutes for Haunted Mansion the other day. That's crazy. Yeah, the crowds are just like, they very much uh, vary. They do. You know, I don't think I've ever noticed that it looks like there used to be a fountain here. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hey, Andy. 
Andy Fletcher says, Hi, I'm a new viewer from the UK. We are coming back in 113 days' time. Love Haunted Mansion. Well, thank you so much for being here, Andy. Thank you, Andy. I'm glad you're able to make it back in 113 days. That's fantastic. Hey, Gigi. Hey, Stephen. Stephen says, Can't wait to ride this in September. Uh, for the Not So Spooky on my birthday weekend. That's awesome. That's awesome, Stephen. Happy super early birthday. Absolutely. <laughs> well, honey, you've got the right backpack on for this ride today. I sure do. I wonder how much of the uh, extended queue is open right now. That'll really dictate how long this uh, line will be. Andrew says, I'll be at Walt Disney World this Tuesday. No way, that's awesome, Andrew. That is awesome. If you see us, please say hi. You know, when I was little, I remember seeing a horse like this. Uh huh. And not understanding why all the reins and everything were sitting like that. I was like, well, somebody didn't put that away right. That was, was what went. Was it a ghost horse? Yeah, it was a ghost horse. But oh. that's what went. I didn't realize it was a ghost horse. I just thought nobody took care of that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the thriller says park coppers, the keys to the kingdom tour. You get to see a secret room where the cast members hang out on break. That's awesome. That's though. really cool. I think we saw that on um, Nate, uh, Page and Mr. Morrow's vlog one time, too. Did we? I think so, because I think he signed the book. Oh, very Remember? Cool. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I think that's still. Yeah, that's really cool. That was really cool. Christy Jane says, there are a few Brits in this chat. Let's go, Team UK. <laughs> Chrissy Jane says, Eric, are you scared from this childhood memory? I'm scarred. Oh, scarred. Oh, no, I, I misread that. Sorry. Chrissy Jane, I'm scarred from every childhood memory. <laughs> Kevin uh, says, that is a long line there. It, it is, is, but it's not too bad. Um, we came because we saw on the app it's at 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Once we got in line, uh, the wait time went up to 35 minutes, but it's been moving really well. It has been. So I think we'll get in. Um, in a reasonable Soon? amount of time. Yeah. Pat from Chicago says, let's go Cubs. It's a baseball season? Uh, yes. Just about. <laughs> Krista Jane says, perhaps both scarred and scared. <laughs> Possibly. And he says, with two extra years of saving, we're going big. We're staying at Caribbean Beach Resort. That's fantastic, Andy. That's an awesome resort. We never stayed there, but we have done a resort. Did we do a resort tour there? Oh, no. That's when we've not spent I, much time on. We haven't on. done a resort tour there yet. Oh, something is... A feather? Maybe. Oh, Andy, yeah, Caribbean Beach. It's really pretty. We actually dined uh, at Sebastian's uh, Bistro once, and it was really good. It was. Andy's saying eight of us are going to cost $28,000 for this trip. Oh, because you're doing the VIP tours at Disney and Universal. Oh, very cool. That's going to be an awesome experience, though. It is. <laughs> it's just difficult to spell here. Gotcha. Oh yes, I see they're doing VIP tours now at Disney Universal. Very cool. Oh, there's a train tour also. That's awesome, little girl. Mana Master says, remember drinking enough water and coffee too. Yes, I am very low on coffee now. Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have we all learned from this? If you have a coffee, don't put it down for a moment near Monica. What? I don't have a coffee problem. What? Hey, hey, Kim. Good to see you. Hey, hey, Kim. 
Bo P, my girl, says, Christy Jane, I coach baseball for a living. He was saying that in response to Christy Jane saying, let's go sports. <laughs> yes, Christy Jane, that's my, I, I say, let's go team sports too. Hey, Funky Bird. Welcome in. Hope you're enjoying your trip. Oh, Funky Bird says, I see you. Well, if you would like to say hi on stream or hi to us, feel more than welcome to. Not sure where Funky Bird is. But if you see us, you might be at Haunted Mansion. So were you working earlier today or are you going to be working? You're off today? Today and tomorrow. And tomorrow, okay. Well, we might be at Hollywood Studios tomorrow, but yeah. Just that way we know not to run by there and see if we can catch him because he'll be off tomorrow. Oh yeah, good point, good question. Funky Bird says, I'm too far. Oh. That's all good, Funky Bird, well, we understand. We hope you enjoy the Haunted Mansion if you're in line for Haunted Mansion. I mean, we love this ride, it's, it's a classic. It is. Becca's like, yay, I second that. Go sports. All the sports. <laughs> oh, I love all the thrillers comment. Happy an addiction someone has. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? No, couldn't be. So I don't know if you guys can see this. But just beyond that tree line back there and kind of go away green. Can you guys see that uh, building that's hidden back there? Can you the water? Sure. Thank you. So the Haunted Mansion ride isn't actually in the Haunted Mansion here. The whole ride is actually behind it. And there's part of the, uh, the ride uh, show building right there. Pretty cool how it's hidden in plain sight because it's right there. We have you ever seen that before? No. I've never thought to look over there. I think we usually come um, to want to mention when it's like much darker. That's true too. So that is fair. Oh, well, thank you, Funky Bird. Oh, I like that amount of mouse. We just had a delicious Marley coffee. Like a ghost. Oh. Right? Is that fun? Is That's that true. Joke? Or am I like misinterpreting I, the joke? I do think that is the joke. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just distracted at uh, the lily bell. Letting off some steam over there. It's, it's uh, going buddy by. It is. Plymouth Rock's like, Eric's giving out trade secrets. Well, Zari says he's been no knowing that since Google Maps. Oh, that is fair. <laughs> Google Maps does help a lot of uh, understanding the uh, structures. Also, uh, Disney itself has a lot of really neat uh, documentaries and other like, series on Disney Plus. Oh, yeah. Where they explain how a lot of the rides here work. That's true. Guillermo says, thanks for the Easter egg, Eric. Never knew how, never knew that's how it was. Absolutely. Hey, Dennis. Your favorite ride is Haunted Mansion? Well, we're glad we're taking you on Haunted Mansion then. Yeah, Haunted Mansion is one of our favorites, especially during um, the Halloween time. Oh, yeah. It looks kind of spooky, right? Right? The spooky lily bell.
I don't know, they thought it was quite noisy. It sure is, but the smoke looks cool. Andy says, I keep thinking about joining DVC. We stayed up both he was a few times and loved it. That's awesome. That is awesome. Dennis says, last time I begged you guys to go, it was late, but you went. We're very glad that we got to get on the ride. Yeah. It certainly might be longer than 35 minutes there, Gus. That is possible. So I don't know if the extended queue is open. I don't know. That's what I'm concerned about. I hope not. <laughs> So guys, we are in line for the Haunted Mansion. We're about to find out if there's an extended queue or not. Hopefully not, because uh, we should be able to get on the line, uh, get on the ride pretty soon if there's not. So looking forward to that. Thank you. Let's look out over here. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, Dennis. Dennis says, if you ever get pulled over on the highway, just say Trooper Dennis Donahue. <laughs> <laughs> thank you kindly, Dennis. We do our best oh. to make sure we're not in that kind of a situation. But I was going to say, we are very good at law-abiding <laughs> citizens, so hopefully, hopefully all is good. I think the Lily Bell is finally done letting off some steam there. I think so. Good night, Alex. Thank you for being here. Good night, Alex. Ken says Dennis in Florida. <laughs> and Dennis is like, yes, ma'am. That's awesome, Dennis. Thank you. And thank you for doing what you do. Yeah. So, Rockstar, uh, YouTube has had some issues for like ever, but uh, yeah, they're it, always they're always different issues. It is always different issues. So, uh, if chat's randomly disappearing and coming back, just hang in there. Oh, uh, and also sometimes uh, just closing it out and coming back in or clicking the refresh also sometimes helps a lot. Exactly. Trista Jane says, Michael calls out uh, trips to Disney a uh, uh, pilgrimage. <laughs> the best kind of pilgrimage. Right? <laughs> What's the bell mean? I don't know. I was thinking more of somebody won the jackpot. <laughs> Take care, Alex J. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful night. Well, the thriller says, I, I would like to put, uh, go away green paint in my bedroom. I think that'd be a great paint to have laying around. So if you ever have a mess, you just want to clean up real quick, just coat it in that paint and, you know, taken care of. Hey, we saw some 7661. Would love to go to Disney. That's, yeah. Uh, we are honored to be able to come here to Walt Disney World and take you guys along with us. Thank you for being here.
tiny lane for this ride? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it um, was very full when we came up. This makes a lot of sense now because I was like, we haven't moved in a little bit of time now. That's the uh, landing lane right here. Oh, okay. It so. goes all the way back. Yeah, all the way back to the entrance right now. So we're in a little bit of trouble from that. Andy Fletcher says, my youngest finishes school tomorrow for 10 weeks, so we might try to squeeze a few nights at Disneyland Paris in a couple weeks' time. It's just not the same, though. But that's awesome, Andy. Uh, Disneyland Paris looks amazing. We hope you get a uh, chance to go. I was trying to get caught up on chat. <laughs> um, so from what I understand is for Dennis, his canine is Brando, and they've been together for three years. That's awesome. That's so cool. Oh, mine train is down. That's not helping, Bo my girl. <laughs> and he says, my youngest finishes school tomorrow for 10 weeks, so we might try and squeeze in a few nights at Disneyland Paris in a couple weeks' time. It's just not the same, though. Oh, I'm sorry, Andy, but Disneyland Paris seems, like, fantastic. Hey, Dole Whip Dave. Hey, Dave. Oh, Dave was saying, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> so it looks like concert is now a 55 minute wait. It's crazy how quickly it can go between a 25 to a 55 minute wait. So if you guys ever see a short wait time, you need to get to that ride as quickly as possible. Yeah, and a tip for Haunted Mansion, if you ever say it uh, on the app that says 13 minutes as the queue, that typically means it's a walk-up, like a walk-in. Yeah. Like, no wait. Oh no. Kim says, Monica, I saw the eyesore munchling uh, backpack at Springs. Which one? The eyesore. No, Eeyore. Oh, the Eeyore. Oh, it's Springs? I... Oh my goodness, Kim. We gotta go. <laughs> I thought she was saying that it wasn't good looking. Oh no, because <laughs> I was telling Kim the other day about the Eeyore munchling backpack. Right. Kim said, sorry, Eeyore. <laughs> I was like, no, that's not right. The E or Munchling backpack. I was like, well, I mean, I, I guess you could consider it an eyesore. <laughs> what did you say about my ear? <laughs> There's a fight about to happen, guys. Goofy Guy says, Oogie Boogie Bash ticket sales just stopped. Disney State's technical issues. Oh, no. Yeah, they were paused. I didn't know that. Um, I'm just hoping that when they come back, they don't have the uh, technical issues that they've been having. That's fair. Hollywood Studios is still crazy packed. We believe it, Bookie, my girl. Yeah, the uh, when we were trying to decide if we were doing Hollywood today or uh, Magic Kingdom, we were like, you know what? If we're gonna go somewhere really, really busy, let's go to Magic. Oh, Kim says he's adorable, Monica. Yes. Oh my goodness. I don't know. He's Kim. so cute. I think I liked your first uh, definition of him better. The, no, uh, she meant Eeyore. I Not know. I swear. <laughs> My goodness. Hey, it's fun. <laughs> Destination, D D Destination Disney TV is like, ooh, if I going down about Eeyore. Eeyore's my favorite. Like, he's my number one favorite. <laughs> hey, Daryl's World. Oh, that's awesome, though, son. We hope you enjoy fishing. Well, the thriller says, Park Hopper says, Monica need an Eeyore tattoo. <laughs> well, maybe uh, like a temporary one. <laughs> I'm too much of a, of a chicken for a real one. I, yeah. <laughs> but definitely up for a temporary one. Right? I haven't seen much of the uh, landing lane moving either. Which is I wonder concerning. if something is uh, happening with the ride at the like moment. Like it broke down or something, yeah. Let's take a look at the uh, wait times here. Okay, so last we saw the queue wait time was 35. It's now 55. Holy right. cow. Yeah, it's... But I'm wondering whether or not it's about to go down or something. My we... train is still down. Yeah. We've been in line for about 41 minutes, everybody. Much longer than that 25-minute uh, estimated queue. Yep. 
And then that 35 minute. Maybe we should try this again later. I feel like we're so close. I know, me too. I don't think they have the extended line open. I just like, I'm like, why haven't we moved? That is strange. Yo puro, yo puro. Dennis says you guys should have your wedding in Disney. LOL. <laughs> I was like, I like that comment. <laughs> I, that sounds like an amazing opportunity if Disney were to offer it to us. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe this, if Disney would have us. <laughs> well, we're not even engaged, but like, you know. That would escalate some. <laughs> One of the biggest reasons why we've been uh, holding off on anything is expenses, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, weddings are expensive, that's for are. sure. If Disney wanted to escalate the process a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to that. Right. Dennis was like, chop chop. Oh. <laughs> Kim says, that's a given, Park Hoppers. Disney wedding. <laughs> that would be so cool. I'm trying to see whether or not I can tell if the uh, extended queue is open or not. <laughs> and Christy Jane's like, I concur. Weddings are very expensive. They are. Christy Jane is very well aware. <laughs> How soon is your daughter's wedding? Oh, good question. Oh, Wendy, your favorite is Eeyore too? That's awesome. It is awesome. Kim's like, Chrissy Jane, you are the expert right now. <laughs> LOL. That is For true. sure. Tennis is like, I think it's fifty thousand dollars. Holy smokes. That's a lot. That's that's a yeah. lot of that's a lot of dollars. It's almost a down payment on a house nowadays. Oh, Chrissy Jane says her daughter's wedding is on July 9th. Oh my goodness, that's right around the corner. That is. Hope everything goes beautifully. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for her. <laughs> JJ and Mickey. Emoji, ring. Emoji, eyes. Emoji, laughing face. <laughs> I wonder what all those three things mean together. I have no idea. I think JJ just, uh, JJ, do you have cats? Could one of your cats have just been walking on the keyboard? I think that's what happened. Is that what happened? I think so. Andy Fletcher says Tigger is number one. Hey, Mike D. Good to see you. Hey, Mary Carol. Hey, Mary. Hope you, Blake, Adam, and Reba are doing awesome. Absolutely. Pokey, my girl, says JJ Mickey. Eric's voice changes when this topic comes up. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I sound completely normal. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> now, the fact that we are moving and Lightning Lane isn't makes me wonder if they just opened up the uh, extended I, queue I think they just to put us into it. Well, we are moving. That's all I know is we are moving. We are moving. Hey, Davis. Dave says, hello all. Thanks for brightening up a gloomy Delaware day. Thanks for being here, Dave. Thank you. Miss Yell, it is very hot. It is. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit uh, more humid now than it was earlier, I feel. But it could be just because we're surrounded by a lot of people. That's true. Welcome back, Funky Bird. Have you gotten in the ride yet? <laughs> hopefully you're up further than we are. Yeah, hopefully. We're for like the longest time, like I'm like, what's going on? Is it just down? But we're moving again, so that's good. That is good. Hey, J Ma, hey, Amanda. So, hey, guys. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah, it's been a little while since we turned around the camera. We like to remind you of who's here. So, guys. We are the Park Hoppers for Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now, guys. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to be able to bring you guys along with us again in the future. We do show ourselves every now and again, mostly just to say hi. Yeah, to say hi. Um, and thank yous. Um, but yeah, most of, the, most of the time we just love showing you guys Disney, the parks, the rides, and all the fun to make you feel like you're here along with us. Absolutely. 
So guys, if you are new here, once again, uh, please consider subscribing. We go live from the parks all the time now. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well, guys. Thank you so much. Let's uh, turn this thing right back around. Don't make me turn this thing around. Let's go uh, see if we are getting any closer with the Haunted Mastermind. Yeah. Hey Pam from Western New York, thank you for being here. We're not sure yet, Funky Bird. Uh, it all comes down to how much longer this takes. <laughs> Hopefully we get on Haunted Mansion. Oh, Funky Bird says already at the ride, awesome. Nice. Enjoy. Yeah, most likely after we get off the ride, we'll be opening up the app to see uh, what has a pretty low wait time. Yep, there you go. <laughs> oh yeah, and Dennis, we completely missed like Fast Pass. Now it's Lightning Lane, which is like a paid for thing. Um, but yeah, I don't think Fast Passes are <laughs> coming back anytime soon. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, guys. It shouldn't be too much longer at this point. Jim Hawk says, Western New York represent. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Andy. Thank you, Chrissy Jane. You guys are too sweet. Oh, I don't see the extended queue being used, so this is it. Once we get around this corner, that's it for the line. Have we gone to Snow White? Uh, so. What? Snow White. That ride is closed. Right, no, it's. Oh, you mean the mine train? I'm yeah. sorry, I was thinking about Snow White, the uh, Scary Adventures ride. Yeah, the one in Disneyland. Well, we had one too many, many years ago. I think it was replaced by. Uh, was that Pooh? No, Winnie the Pooh replaced Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Right. And then I think uh, Snow White was replaced by Princess uh, Fairy Tale Hall. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Which, personally, I rather have my Snow White ride back. But, sure. you know. Meaning the princesses is also really cool, especially for the little ones. Absolutely. Hanson Beat says, I'm dying to get in. <laughs> well, that's good, Pam. We're glad that the air is much better. Hey, Steve and Judy, The Rosing Adventure. Good to see you guys. Hey, Deanna. So we are staying cool with a, a combination of things. Uh, mostly the biggest thing is clothing that uh, keeps us cool. Uh, you know, hats? Yeah, hats uh, that are UV protective, that uh, you know, uh, breathe well. Uh, just t-shirts that uh, breathe well as well. And Monica's got this, uh, this fancy fan here as well for when we uh, get a little too warm. Yeah, the fan's a lifesaver. And we also have cooling towels, but we forgot them today. Right. Yeah, but if you guys are ever wondering what we use at the parks regarding just like equipment, um, tech, things just to like park wise, uh, we have all the things linked down in the description down below if you ever want to check that out. Exactly. And water, exactly, Dennis. Oh, water. Yes, Dennis. 100%. Oh. And sun umbrellas for when we're standing like uh, straight out in the sun. Oh, yeah. Um, our sun brawly. Oh, thank you. Our sun brawly is key. Uh, we use a few different kinds of brawlies and we have them all linked down below. But uh, for the heat, the one with the reflective uh, silver oh. bits uh, is kind of the best. Kim says, Bo Peep, my girl, sorry, stepped away. It's hot. Thank goodness for the Gulf breeze. Not a lot, but something. How's the, how has the weather been for the games? Andy says, I still laugh at the gravestones, even though I must have seen them, uh, dozens of, must have seen them dozens of times. Same here, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, 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 Dave says, thanks for the fan. That was refreshing. Our pleasure. Do you know what's more refreshing? Uh, do it. <laughs> Kirstie Jane says, never, ever accept... Uh, Bright red apples from old ladies. <laughs> Kirsty Jane says, listen to this great brawly chat. <laughs> Alright guys, as soon as we get around this barrier here, 
That's it for the line. Oh no, Nikki! Nikki! Nikki just came into chat. <gasps> Nikki! Oh no! Come back in five minutes. <laughs> well, in five minutes we might be just a few more steps forward. Oh, Nikki's got this. She she's not chicken, right? She says, "Oh no, are we? No." <laughs> Nikki Mouse, you got this. This is like uh, you know haunted mansion, but like. Um, she says, this I have I have no way of making this better. <laughs> but you'll be riding with us, Nikki. Andy Fletcher says, confession time. In years of visits, I've never had a dual whip. This year, it's going to happen. It's got oh to, Andy. Oh, my goodness, Andy. Okay, so uh, we have enjoyed dual whips twice at the park. And each time, we got the same thing because I absolutely love the tropical serenade. It's at Aloha Isle here at Adventureland. And uh, the tropical serenade is pog juice, which is passion fruit, orange juice, and guava juice all blended together. And then it has a coconut soft serve and an upside down pineapple cake pop. Yep. So, yeah, it's really good. Adam Tracy, welcome in. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, Adam says, Evening, guys, newish subscriber here. Will you guys be at Epcot tomorrow? Thank That's you so much, Adam. Great question because. Uh, we rescheduled our Hollywood studios that was going to be today to tomorrow, but we may end up rescheduling it again. We just have to figure out uh, what we're up to tomorrow exactly. Yeah. Because there are some concerts going on in Epcot that we'd like to catch as well. So. Oh, that's true too. We'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. We'll keep you guys posted as soon as we know. We'll make sure that you guys know as well. Hey Jelly Bean, thank you for being here. We're in the queue for Haunted Mansion. We're almost there. Hey, so Cargo. She says, hey friends, I'm going to listen as I so. Thank you, Cargo. Hey Patrick Julian. Good evening, Eric Bovo. We are rather patiently waiting for a doom buggy. Absolutely. It's uh, it's been quite the wait. But you know, it's a good sign that the extended queue isn't open, so it that's shouldn't true. be too much longer. No, as soon as uh, they bring us forward here, that's it. So Dios de amigo. <laughs> Dios says, you get in faster with your death certificate. Ah, okay. Well, we had 54 minutes. We probably could have faked her on death. No, oh, no. Time. Don't say that. <laughs> Jelly Bean says, that is awesome. I was just at Disney a couple weeks ago. Very cool. Hope we had an awesome vacation. Hey, death at Disney. Which happy aunt do you want to bring with you? Oh, that's a good, a good question. Which of the uh, hitchhiking ghosts would you like uh, to go home with us? Um, the nice one. I like the guy that uh, removes his head. <laughs> <laughs> hey Kunder from Clearwater, welcome in. Hey Kunder. Holly M says, what matters is you've done your drink before the ride. Exactly, Holly. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> it was very good. And we drank a cup of water as well. We did. Before we get too much further in, do you want to show that sunset? How beautiful? It's very pretty. There goes Thunder Mountain. Well, thank you so much, Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean says, just subscribe. You guys are nice. Uh, hope you enjoy your run. Well, thank you so much, Jelly Bean. Thank you, Jelly Bean. All right. We are about to be received by the Happy Haunts. We are so close. So, guys, this is the extended queue that we've been talking about. The fact that uh, we didn't have to walk around here, go through these stanchions and everything and then come around to join here. Hey Nikki Pritchard! Hey Nick Carl! Nikki Mouse, you can absolutely sit in the middle. Thank you. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you everybody for almost 300 likes. That's amazing. So guys, as always, uh, when you keep an eye on the My Disney Experience app, it'll give you uh, ride times. That's not always necessarily the case though. Uh, if it quotes you 25 minutes, uh, as an example, uh, we waited about an hour for this ride, so uh, yeah. it does happen. It did say 25 on the app, and then when we got in the queue it said 35, and then something must have happened on the ride, but uh, we're almost there. Yeah. Uh, Jelly Bean, it's currently 7.57 p.m. here in Orlando, Florida. Got an hour and 23 minutes until the fireworks. Alright, we'll be the next ones in, guys. We'll be on our next tour. Hey, Jess, Princeton. Hey, Jess. Hey, AR Glover. Oh, I need to do a quick refresh. That's all right. Hang on, everybody. We're going to do a quick refresh. We'll be right back. Well, hello there, Leota. All right, guys. We should be back. Hey, Jabs. Oh, wow. Charlie Orlando says yesterday the Haunted Mansion ride broke down. Don't try to ask Tom's to hold when it's down by the line prior. Oh, hopefully it doesn't do that again today. We've got you, Nikki. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was awesome. That scream was a cast member who snuck behind people. She snuck behind other guests. The uh, cast member had snuck behind some adults that clearly did not look like they were going to be scary at all. And then uh, as soon as she got back there in the dark, she let out that just blood curdling scream. And then as soon as the lights came back on, she uh, looked just the straightest face like nothing had happened and then she just slowly walked away. <laughs> Yeah, there's always a scream on audio, Andrea, but that one was... Uh, that was yeah, that was an intense one. That was awesome. That cast member really like, made that scene come to life. Oh no, Nikki says and that's why I have trust issues, LOL. <laughs> oh no, Nikki, it's okay. <laughs> Sounds good, Mariam. Hey, Isaac Nail, good to see you. <laughs> That's crazy, Christy Jane. That's awesome, Christy Enjoy the ride! Alright, we should be good for the ride, guys. Thank you.
unbelievable here in this place. Every room has wall to wall clearly and hot and cold. Oh, <laughs> 
Now I will raise the safety bar, and a ghost will follow you home. <laughs> Oh, always worth the wait. Yeah, that's a great ride. I said, oh, always worth the wait. That's a great ride. Oh, yeah. We should be okay. I think we're uh, streaming loud and clear now. Yeah, we should be back. Thank you so much, Isaac Nell. We really appreciate you doing the, the uh, script of the Haunted Mansion while we were in there. That was really awesome. Thank you, Isaac. So we have about an hour before fireworks. So really, we have about half an hour before we really need to be heading towards uh, wherever we're going to watch fireworks from. Uh, you want to go try to just catch a, uh, a people mover ride? Yeah, let's get on the people mover before the fireworks. A sunset people mover. Sounds great. That way we can be sure that we at least put two rides in today. Yeah. Isaac is the dude, Theo. Hey, Metal Gamer World. Hey, Kevin Coda. Hey, Anne. Hey, Coda. Coda's hopping in to say hola. <laughs> With a park Monica, park Eric, park hoppers, and a park cart. <laughs> Thank you, Coda. Hey, Anne. Oh no, Kirsty Jane says, I'm going to stop the typing thing now. Night night, my dearies. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Kirsty Jane. Hope you and Michael have a wonderful evening. Absolutely. Get lots of rest, guys. Thank you for being here. Coda, any luck with Doogie Boogie or is it still down? Ooh, good question. Thank you, Ryan. Bubbles. Nick, he says, bye, Kirsty. Thank you for protecting me. Right. All right. That always seems to be the busiest part of the park right there. It's kind of a bottleneck back there. Like, yeah. Hey, James B. Hey, James. Kevin Cohen, uh, Frozen is a part of the fireworks. Oh, I just breathed the bubble. <laughs> Little one was loving his Olaf uh, bubble maker. Oh, there you go. Something with Frozen right there. <laughs> yes, Jelly Bean. Disney is going to be packed for quite some time. Yeah. Especially during the summertime. Nikki Mouse says, did it taste like magic? It went up my nose, Nikki. Oh, no. It smelled like magic. I sweated the bubbles away this time from my face. I've learned. I've already had bubbles in my eyeball, oh, my no. nose, and they do not taste magical. Kevin Cota says, park hoppers, they stopped sales today. Probably couldn't solve the issue. We'll be updated a week from today. Oh, no, in a week's time? Goodness, oh, that's goodness. a long time to get that sorted out. I just hope they get it up and running and a lot of folks will have the opportunity to get a Nookie Boogie ticket soon. <laughs> Nikki, I think it smelled like sparkly cleanliness. <laughs> <laughs> goodness, look at all of the strollers for the... Oh my goodness gracious. Hey Jess Roy. Yeah, holiday weekends definitely are way more uh, busy, for sure. Oh yeah. Hey Roxanne. Kevin Cota says, hey there other Kevin. Hey, Sandra T, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Sandra. Ooh, that's a good question, Will the Thriller. Would we ever do an all-day Winnie the Pooh challenge? Oh boy, really? Uh, I don't know, we've never really thought about it before. Look at the line for Winnie the Pooh right now. Based off that line, no. Uh, <laughs> Is that, I think that's Lightning Lane, isn't it? That's Lightning Lane, yes, oh my goodness. But the good thing about Lightning Lane there is you do go directly to the ride. That is true. There's not much back and forth, you know? True. Hello, Roxanne. 
Kevin Coder says, welcome back to Rockstar. Welcome back, Rockstar. We're glad that uh, you got your phone charged a little bit. What is Winnie the Pooh quoting its way time as? 50 minutes right 50 now? 50 minutes, my goodness. But you know, it doesn't look uh, 50 minutes. It's still going to be a long wait with oh, the... Oh, it's uh, still a long wait. Like, People Mover is the way to go for right now, especially to get a good spot for the fireworks. Yeah, fireworks are in an hour. Hey, Dark Horse Paintings, good to see you again. Hey, Dark Horse Paintings. Oh my god. All right. All right. Oh, Roxanne says I'm there too. I'm looking for you. Well, if you see us, feel free to say hi, Roxanne. Yeah. Uh, right now, Roxanne, we're headed to uh, the People Mover over in Tomorrowland. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, did we both say hi to Dark Horse? Oh, yeah, because Dark Horse uh, Paintings said hi to both of us. Oh, gotcha. Now, we're polite people. We are. Oh, thank you so much, Coda. That is our links right there for Patreon, guys. If you guys are interested in supporting us that way, that would be awesome. It would be. Hey Bianca! Yeah, moving uh, moving people seems like a good idea for sure. Yeah. Uh, Bianca, si, sí, hablamos en español también. I was just letting Bianca know that we also speak Spanish. Kevin Cohen, the fireworks begin at 9.20 p.m. EDT and they continue through uh, 9.38 uh, p.m. EDT, so they're about 18 minutes long. Oh no! Funky Bird, try to catch up. Is Funky Bird around? Funky Bird, are you still behind us? We can like slow down. We didn't know. <laughs> Teapot Pen, welcome in. Hey, Teapot Pen. We show our faces occasionally, but our main focus of this channel is to show you guys Disney, not us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we show oh, ourselves. We do. And Jelly Bean, we do live in Florida. Uh, South Carolina is an awesome state. That's awesome, Jelly Bean. Hey, Montalago. Oh, not no more. Gotcha, okay, okay, bird. no, yeah, keep going. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, in the future, if you're like nearby or something, we don't mind like walking a little slower or something to say hi, of course. Yeah. We do move pretty quickly though, so... Uh, we try to move as quick as possible, that way we get and, uh, and show you guys as much Disney as possible with the time remaining, you know? Exactly. Alright guys, let's get on the TTA, the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. Now uh, Roxanne, if you are looking for us, we're on our way to the People Mover. Yep. Alrighty. We can. It does look a little less crowded. Gotcha. Alrighty. <laughs> So that's the Astro Orbiter. That's the line for the people mover right now. In case you guys needed further evidence of it being a long, busy day. That's a busy day when you see the line for people mover this long. Thank you. 
Hey Josh R, good to see you. Hey Josh R. Sounds good Roxanne, we hope you enjoy your, uh, your dining experience. Alrighty, so this should not take too long. Uh, the TTA has a pretty short uh, wait time overall because it's a continuously moving, continuously uh, loading and unloading ride. So we're looking at maybe 10 minutes from here. I'm Philly. Hey Poppy. Hey Antonio. Welcome in guys. Oh yeah, absolutely Roxanne. We should ride. Howdy Anton. Yeah, we always show the rides and everything. Yeah. And we do our best not to talk during them as well to make sure that you guys get to enjoy the full length of the ride as well. Oh, Josh R says, speaking of dining, I made reservations at the Kona Cafe in the Poly and Maya Grill at Coronado. That That's sounds awesome. amazing. We've not been to Maya Grill at Coronado, but we have dined at Kona Cafe. We have. I think we dined there once. Yeah, we got a burger, which is, I don't think, on the menu anymore. Yeah, we got a burger before the restaurant was uh, renovated. It was a pretty good experience, though. Josh R says, her both are pretty good. Well, the thriller wants to know park covers. Have you been to Chef Mickey's? We haven't. No. Um, we have shown it before, though. Yeah. <laughs> We've shown it many times. Whenever we're at the contemporary doing resort tours or whatnot, we always try our best to show uh, Chef Mickey's. It's a really cool uh, character dining experience. And it's an uh, all you can eat buffet. For the longest time, you couldn't uh, go up and serve yourself, but they have opened that back up where you can go up and uh, regular buffet style. Yeah. So it's pretty cool, and all the characters come to your table, you take pictures, say hi. It's a great character interaction. Not that we know of Dark Horse paintings. Jellybean says, have you been to Carol Winds in North Carolina? We have not. We have not. Yeah, Three Bridges is pretty good. Agreed. Uh, Kim was saying she went to Maya Grill a while ago. She likes it. I hear Three Bridges. A bar? Question mark? It's good. Tasty food, too. So it's it's got a bar, but it's, uh, I don't know. Would, would you consider it like a, a full-on bar and grill kind of situation? Three Bridges? It depends yeah. if you sit at the bar. <laughs> well, I mean, like, if you're not sitting at the bar, it's, it's not it's technically more, a bar. I think it's more of like a sit-down dining experience, depending on if you're there to have appetizers or a whole meal. Right. That do, really makes a difference. Do they do reservations at uh, Three Bridges, or is it a walk-up? I believe it's a walk-up. Okay. They have really good, uh, oh, what are they called? I enjoy their drinks and their entrees. Yeah, but the dessert. The uh, uh, churros. Churro, churro, thank you. Yeah, I like the churros there. Buffy, my girl, says, Ohana bread pudding available at the bar. It's amazing. At which bar? At Tambu Lounge. Oh, yeah, Tambu Lounge has the bread pudding, right. Kim says, Buffy, my girl, that bread pudding, another level, for sure. Like, I've... We've had the bread pudding there at Ohana's and over at uh, Sebastian's Bistro. Mm -hmm. Both are really good. Well, Kim, if you want to go to Three Bridges, just come on down. We'll have to do it sometime. We'll go with you. <laughs> they have really good drinks, really good appetizers and entrees. Yeah. Matthew Hildebrand says, hello, my Eric and Monica. Being from California, I always enjoy when you take us on the People Mover. That's awesome. Thank you, Matthew. Ryan, we think so. We're not 100%. Um, keep an eye on the channel for that information, but uh, so far, we think so. Yeah. Hannah Anderson says, Monica and Eric, hope you've had a lovely day at the Magic Kingdom. Thank you so much, Hannah. Hope you've had an awesome day as well. Funky Bird, we absolutely will be going to, uh, to see the fireworks. Yeah, happily ever after, for sure. Like... Yeah. Yeah. Can't <laughs> skip out on it. But from where we haven't uh, figured out just yet. Exactly. Kim said thank you, definitely will. Maybe a little shopping too. Oh my goodness, shopping, yes. 
Did I say that too quickly? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a shopping coffee problem. <laughs> Party M's like, come on down. You're the next contestant on Monica's shopping addiction. <laughs> no? No, the price is right. Right, right. Oh my goodness. All right, we were moving along pretty well. It does look like they stopped the line. Um, is the ramp operational? I'm sure, yeah, the people mover itself has stopped, so the oh. ramp is not currently running. Oh, yeah, like right there. Yeah. So it looks like the whole of the people mover is currently stopped. That might be just to unload or load some uh, some wheelchair access, but uh, I'm not sure. Roxana, you, uh, Roxanne says, I'm sub. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing. We really appreciate that. That is the best way to support us and uh, help our channel. So thank you so much. Yeah. Will, Will the Phillies says, Bar Coppers? Does Monica have a shopping addiction and caffeine addiction? No way, Will. No way. <laughs> Maybe. No. 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 Not, Maybe in, a little. In legitimacy, no. Yeah. But, in, like, in all honesty, no. But I do love Disney merch and I do love coffee. Especially coffee at Disney. Yeah. I don't know. It makes the day more magical, you know? That is fair. So we've got about 49 minutes till fireworks, guys. We were not um, expecting the people mover to stop moving people, so this is a little unexpected twist. What's a twist? What's a twist? So the people mover is generally about 11 minutes long. Uh, so we're looking at 38 minutes if you include ride time there until the fireworks. Uh, looking at about three or four more minutes of wait time, assuming they get the ride back up and going soon uh, before we're up there. So about five or six minutes. Just to be safe, uh, we probably have about 28 minutes by the time we get off of this ride. And Hannah, um, we currently don't have Universal tickets, uh, but if we ever have that opportunity, we'll definitely let you guys know. Absolutely. Hey, Valerie. Good to see you, Valerie. Valerie says, hey, Eric and Monica, hope your day is going great. Thank you so much. We hope your day is going great as well. Well, the thriller says, I have a t-shirt addiction when I go to Walt Disney World. Heck yeah, Will. The t-shirts at Disney are awesome. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Angela. Hey, guys. Hey, Kenneth. Kenneth says, just hopped in, haven't been to Disney. Oh my goodness, Kenneth. Well, we hope that you enjoy it through uh, the stream as much as possible. Absolutely. Hey, Chris. Chris S. says, the Rise of the Resist... Oh, wait. I Run on the go. Oh, in the Run on the Go office. Uh, complex is currently paused. Yes, that is true, Chris. I was thinking Rise of the Resistance. I missed that ride. Alright, so awesome. it's gonna be up and running any minute, guys. So, hey guys, Dana Angle, thank you so much for the $10 PayPal. We sincerely appreciate that. She said, you know, I'll bet you a small world's up and running. <laughs> Dana, thank you so much. We really appreciate that support so much. Very, very much. Unexpected, but very much appreciated. Thank so, you so thank much. you so much. And guys, well, we have a turn around. We are the park office for Eric and Monica. We go live in the parks all the time. It's not all the times. All, all the times. times. All the time. What times? All the times. All the time. All the time now, guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. We're going to be seeing fireworks in 35 minutes. Yeah, very soon. <laughs> 45 minutes. 45 minutes. As soon as we get off People Mover, we're going to go get a spot for fireworks. Yeah. As long as we can get on People Mover. Wait, we'll get there. Like normally the line moves along really well. It does. Um, while it's, when it's moving people. Oh no! Okay, so the announcement just happened that it was running. And the announcement just happened now that it's delayed. So I don't know what's happening with the people mover today. We'll find out in a moment. CNN Custom Science says still hanging in. Kim Tyra says, uh, haven't been since 2009. 
hit the send button a little too soon. Oh, well, thanks for sharing the video. Well, thank you so much, Kenneth. Thank you, Kenneth. Sounds like you're a little overdue for a trip. Hannah Anderson says, have a wonderful rest of your night. The Cure is going down in, in concert. Oh, in Tampa. Tampa. Enjoy really the cool. Cure. That's awesome. That's really cool. So guys, thank you again so much for your support. Yeah, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us in the future as we go around Walt Disney World. Also, if you haven't yet, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. Thank you guys. Let's turn it back around. <laughs> Angela's like, oh no, the people mover decided to dress as the struggle bus. Oh god. <laughs> What's happening with people moving? Oh, there's an announcement. Okay, it still says delayed. We'll see. We have a little bit of time. Yeah, it's time to work with. Hey, Richard. Welcome in. Jelly Bean, uh, we go live a lot. Um, as often as possible. Yeah. Anywhere from, uh, what, three to six times a week? Yeah. So Roxanne, we did uh, the Mountain Challenge on Sunday, which is where we rode uh, some of the most extreme rides in Walt Disney World. Oh yeah. We did Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, Seven Doors Mine Train, and Expedition Everest. Everest was really intense, but really fun. I, I mean, I enjoyed all the roller coasters and all the mountains, and that was a really awesome challenge. It was. Hey Jen, great to see ya. <laughs> Plymouth Rock says, are the people not moving? <laughs> uh, not the people the mover is currently not moving the people. It said it was going to move them, but then it said it wasn't, so we're not really sure what's up. We'll find out soon. Hopefully. One way or another, uh, we'll have to leave the area if it's getting if too it, close yeah, to Yeah, if it's getting too close to fireworks time, we will uh, get out of line and go get a good spot somewhere. Yep. Richard says hi. Never seen you guys before. Rich and Deb G. Stad and Allen. Well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate that. Hey, Rich and Deb. Marty and Linker Mountain Challenge. Thank you so much, Marty. M. Thank you, Marty. And the Mountain Challenge just happened this past Sunday, guys. It had an epic uh, finale. Um, we wrapped it up over at Animal Kingdom and went on a safari ride, which was one of the best safaris we've been on a, on a long, long time. We yeah. saw a lot of animals that are very rare to see on the safari. And a lot of babies. So that was cool. That was. Eric S says, there was some dragging of feet, as I recall, getting to Everest. There may what? Have been a Eric little S? Bit of what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Roxanne says, I finished school today. I'm in grade five, now grade six. Well, congratulations, Roxanne. With charm, yes, exactly, Eric S. Yes, Charm was our safari driver, guys. She was so sweet. Like the bracelet. Like the bracelet. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the JJ, Mickey, and Wise Grampy are using the plenty of time emojis. Plenty of time. What do we see at the top of the ramp here? Let's see some cast members. Alright. Well, they're working on it at the very yeah. least. Time is 8.39 here in Orlando, Florida, and the uh, Happily Ever After fireworks begin at 9.20. They do. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Unless we're on the ride and it breaks down like this. Then we might be uh, might be cutting it a little close. Possibly. <laughs> well, the thriller says park hoppers is astro orbiter moving. Uh, we can't see it from here. 
the line really is, huh? Let's see if we see the elevator um, go up. I hope she's staying safe, Roxanne. Absolutely. Keep an eye on the weather and just uh, be as cautious as possible. Uh, Astro Orbiter is, uh, I assume, moving because I see the elevators um, operational. Well, good. Hey, Gary. Welcome in. That's fair, I guess. I don't want to be so bad. If we had a good spot for fireworks from the people mover broken out. Oh, that would be actually really cool. We've not seen the fireworks from the people mover. That's true. That would be kind of cool. Oh, if you stand back here and turn it that way, you can see the sunset. That's true. There it is. Beautiful sunset tonight. About nine more minutes for the ride to become operational, otherwise we need to start heading towards a uh, spot for the fireworks. I agree. People mover is moving people again. That's a good thing to see. Kenneth says, left the Haunted Mansion earlier. One of my all-time faves. That's awesome, Kenneth. Yeah, it's one of our favorite rides as well. It's a classic, you know? It is. That's a great question, Marty. Hey, Ryan. Ryan says, last time we came down, we rode Dumbo like eight times in a row and just watched the fireworks from there. Super awesome views. That's really like awesome. That, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Marty M., yes. Uh, we will be enjoying happily ever after fireworks from Main Street, USA. I mean, you can get better than that. Main Street USA, you get the projections, you get Tinkerbell, the fireworks, like, everything. Oh, yeah. And then after, maybe we'll go take a look behind the castle, see if we can see some princesses. That would be very cool, too. Roxanne says, can you give Kevin a shout-out, please? Of course, Roxanne. Shout-out to Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Oh, and Kim, of course. Hey, Kevin and Kim. So the people mover is or was moving. <laughs> it was moving the people. It stopped. Marty Ann says, sounds great. I'm trying to get the sunset there, but not going to quite be able to get it. No, but the sunset's really pretty. It is. About five more minutes for the people mover to officially go back to moving people. <laughs> Come on, people mover. We believe in you. Oh my goodness, Kim did the same thing. Kim said, we did the same thing. It was a super location from Dumbo. Oh, wow. Well, we'll have to do that one of these days. Yeah. That sounds really cool to watch uh, Happily Ever After Fireworks from Dumbo. The only problem is Dumbo is over so fast. But we just asked them if we could stay on. If there's not uh, many folks in line, we might have a chance. That is fair. Hey, Sabrina B. 
Sabrina says, hey guys, my son, William, daughter, Leela, and I are on the couch with popcorn and M&M's enjoying your stream. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Thank you, Sabrina. And William and Leela? Kristen, uh, they do not do the projections behind the castle, no. Uh, we've done the fireworks from behind the castle a number of times now. Uh, it's a really awesome experience, but you do miss the projections. What are you thinking, honey? I'm a little nervous about this people moving, not moving the people. Ryan says, yes, that's what we did. We had no line, so they just let us stay on the ride. That's awesome. Right? Welcome back, Jocelyn. Well, there's a lot of people that are unloading. Did they get... Nope, the ride is moving again. Excellent. I was going to say, were they evax? <laughs> now it's moving again. Good, we're good, almost good. there. Yeah, the projections uh, for Happily Ever After happen on Main Street USA, the stores there, and on the castle. Plymouth Rock says, now boarding the people. Get out and push. <laughs> push her. <laughs> Oh, wait. oh no, okay, cast members heading up. Alright. That's a good thing. I think so. Simple Plan the other day. I enjoyed that way too much. I love. That's awesome, Ryan. It was our pleasure. Simple Plan was so cool. It was like we saw two sets um, on their absolute last day here at Disney World for the year. Um, they were fantastic, and we got to meet two of the band members afterwards, which is awesome. They were both so kind. They were. Um, but yeah, it was our pleasure. Thank you for being there. Thank you. We're watching it back. <laughs> Honey, can I have a ticket? Yeah. Thank you. I do see the people mover moving over there. Oh, Kristen, yeah, they don't do any projections behind the castle. We've uh, seen the Happily Ever After from behind the castle quite a few times already. Um, we've actually spotted the princesses during the fireworks quite a few times during our live streams during the fireworks, so if you want to check that out, um, we have them up on our channel. Good evening, Ashlyn. Great to see you. Yeah, you guys can see the people mover is moving, just doesn't have people on it. Plymouth Rock says, well, at least it's a beautiful night. It really is. And there's like a really nice breeze happening, so it's not too hot. often. It's always a good ride. It is. Alright. Let's head towards Main Yeah. Do you want a table or a bench? Oh, we do the bench. That works. We could also find a table. Sure. Well, this works. Oh, and guys, uh, there is Space Mountain and the Joffrey's, uh, this is the only Joffrey's location inside of the Magic Kingdom. 
It's called Joffy's Revive. What's unique about this location is it does have a s'mores latte, which you can get here and at Disney Springs. Rusty says, finishing up packing for our big arrival day tomorrow at Disney World. We can't wait. That's awesome, Rusty. That is awesome. Good luck with the finishing of packing and safe travels. If you see us at all and want to say hi, please, please say hi. That'd be awesome. All right, let's make our way to Main Street. Let's go get a smack for happily ever after, guys. Let's do it. Good evening, Stephen. Hey, Stephen. Yeah, they appear to be uh, emptying ride vehicles, but not uh, putting anybody in new ones. So. No, they're not. Um, they're not going to open before fireworks. I don't think. Right. All right, guys. We have 29 minutes before fireworks. Let's go get a spot on Main Street. Might be a little crazy. Mickey Mouse says Tomorrowland at night is just amazing. It is. <laughs> yeah, there's still not any people on the people mover. No. But they are running it, so I guess maybe they're testing it. Yeah, they're cycling some uh, some right through service. One of the best views of the castle in the entire park right here. Back side of Tomorrowland sign. All right, I think they're going to push us through the bypass. Looks like the hub is completely full already. It's exactly Jim Dempsey. The people mover moved the people from the people mover. There's the people remover. And when the people mover is working again, it'll be the people re remover. Right? Oh, that's awesome, Jelly Bean. It looks like they're not sending people to the bypass yet. No. Maybe it's early enough, you know? Maybe. If you go straight ahead, this will take you to Main Street to view the fireworks, or it can be an exit out the park if you wish. Hey, Steve F. Hey, Steve. All right, this is where things get complicated. Yeah. Sing a left here. Right 
Sorry about that, everybody. All right, let's see. A little bit of space in our usual area over there. Kevin Coda, Nikki Mouse says you can always float above the crowd. You have your Mary Poppins umbrella, right? Kevin Coda, thank you so much for gifting a membership. It looks like Stephen got one. Oh, that's awesome. Stephen, we hope you enjoy the emojis and thank you so much, Kevin Coda. Thank we you really so much, Coda. That. We are now on Main Street, everybody. We are the park offers from Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time. We're about to enjoy Happily Ever After. It's going to occur in 25 minutes. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to hang out with you guys until then because it's just one of those things where you have to be here early enough uh, to get a decent spot. You know? It's going to get way more busy, though. It is. And it's already pretty busy. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Beaker and Honeydew. Thank you, guys. Hey, Barbara. Barbara's like, perk, 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 perk. I think, um, let's turn around and enjoy the castle for a little bit. Yeah. I do not have this cable quite long enough. I'm going to try to extend that a little bit. You got it? Thank you. Enjoy your videos. Thank you so much, David. Thank you, David. Speaking of subscribers, I'm really curious about how close we are to 5,300. Let's take a look for a second. I'm just going to make sure that all this goes back in. Marty M says the sky is intense blue. It really is, guys. That's beautiful. Hola, Jose Chair. Feliz Jueves. Muchas gracias. ¿Cómo está usted la familia hoy? That's the tough part right there. All right. Yeah, it's beautiful out tonight. So let's take a look. We are at... Ah, qué bueno, José. Gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. It is 8.58 p.m. here in uh, the Magic Kingdom. Goodness, I keep uh, pressing things that I'm going to press. <laughs> uh, the fireworks go off at 9.20 p.m. EDT. So we're about 22 minutes away. I don't know why this won't work for me properly. There it goes. All right. Excellent. Guys, we are currently at 5,284 subscribers. That puts us at 16 subscribers away from 5,300. If anyone here has not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. It will also help us to reach that milestone of 5,300. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, thank you so much, you two. We are now at 5,286 because two of you hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing, guys. Roxanne, don't worry about it. Whatever's going on, it's okay. 
All we look for in the chat, guys, is that you just participate, you be kind to one another, and you just uh, have a good time with us. So thank you for being here. Yeah, and enjoy Disney. We are now 12 away. Thank you uh, to you two as well. That puts us, uh, oh, for you, five in total. 5,289. We are 11 away from 5,300, guys. Thank, thank you, you so much. Hey, Tara. Kim, yes, it has cooled down a lot. It's still, don't get me wrong, it's still really hot and a little humid, but not nearly as bad as it was before. Exactly. Uh, but I'm sure as uh, fireworks get... Um, Closer to 920, it's gonna get a lot more crowded. Oh, yeah. 5,290, thank you guys. We are 10 away now from 5,300. That's awesome. Johanna, hello. Johanna says, No sabía que hablas español, me encanta. Oh, no, muchas gracias por estar aquí con nosotros, Johanna. <laughs> I don't speak the greatest Spanish, but I think she said I didn't know you speak Spanish. Yeah. I love it? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> you, do, you do good. Welcome back, Megan G. Yes, in time for fireworks. Just in time. Exactly, Kim. Ten minutes away, guys. Well, no, uh, ten away from uh, 5,300. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking Eight about fireworks. That's 20 minutes away. Sorry. You guys are incredible. Thank you for this. 5,292 subscribers. Oh, my gosh. It's it's kind of crazy watching that go up. I can see the uh, the appeal. That's awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> oh yeah, Nikki. Exactly. The uh, I can speak on a uh, grade schooler's level in Spanish. Uh, I can read at a higher level, but like it's not always easy. <laughs> but uh, as it is, I have a hard enough time reading in English. So. <laughs> Oh, Sapphire, that's awesome. Enjoy the ice cream. And enjoy the fireworks here shortly. Absolutely. Hey, Sounds good, Jellybean. Hey, Scott Ober. Hey, Sherry Marie. Good to see you. Hey, guys. Yes, it's been a little while, Sheree. Good to see you again. Thank you for being here. Well, we're very happy you're here. Guys, that's incredible. 5,294. That puts us at six away. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribed, new and old. We really appreciate each and every one of you. That's an insane number of people. Thank you so much, guys. That's the best support you could ever give us. It is. Oh, enjoy shopping, Roxanne. And uh, yeah, just let us know in the chat when you finish shopping what you got. Yeah. We are looking at about 17 minutes, guys. Five more until five. Th oh, six more. Six more until 5,000. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, seven more. Did it go down one? It went down one more. Oh no! It's a roller coaster ride. It is. We're back up 5,294. Hey, Nicole. <laughs> Nikki Mouse is like, wait. What? Who says shopping? Who? When? <laughs> Nikki, uh, we think Roxanne and her family are going to go shopping. And she was talking about sharing what she got. And I was like, if she wants it, she goes, let us know what she got when she finishes shopping. <laughs> Patrick Trillian says, I can speak a little Spanish. Just saying. That's awesome, Patrick. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love that quote. Uh, Bikr and Honeydew, a quote from Sam Eagle. Not hitting the like button or subscribing is extremely unpatriotic. <laughs> Thank you, Beaker and Honeydew. Thank you, guys. Tink for Life Jones says, Nikki Mouse, I think I heard shopping too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Good evening, Disney Mom 19. Great to see you. Hey, Disney Mom 19. Yes, guys, it is currently 9.04 p.m. here in Orlando, Florida, and the Happily Ever After begins at 9.20. It certainly does. The castle looks so pretty right now, though. It does. And the sky, like, very magical. It's interesting how every now and again you can kind of see uh, what looks like either smoke or some steam or something that uh, leaves from beyond the castle. Maybe they're testing some things? Maybe. Or maybe it's uh, from the restaurant. Rockstar says, be right back. 
going to eat dinner. Sounds good. Enjoy your dinner. Hey, Craig. Great to see you. Good to see you, Craig. And thank you. Yeah, it's a it's a great spot. Patrick Trillion. And uh, that's uh, one more Mickey bar, maybe? Port this? <laughs> Prince Ryan says the fog machines might be behind the castle for the pre show. Oh, maybe. Welcome back, Jelly Bean. Right now, Happily Ever After. Yeah, with the shows that are currently available, Happily Ever After for sure. Oh yeah. Uh, love Fantasmic. And then uh, in third place would probably be Epcot Forever, I think. Hey, James J.B. Baston, good to see you. Hey, J.B. Baston. You and your family enjoy happily ever after. Oh, always, Craig, but that's okay. <laughs> Jim Dempsey says Nikki flies a Boeing around for bargains. That's a uh, airliner. Oh, a waffle. Understood. Thank you, Patrick Trillian. Learned a new word. Yeah, Eric, we do wish that they had a uh, nighttime spectacular of some sort in Animal Kingdom. That would be awesome. So, Marty, um, right now we have scheduled uh, Hollywood Studios tomorrow. We may do that tomorrow or we may do it on Saturday, depending on how things turn out. Oh, there's some lasers. Lasers. Sabrina says, Happily Ever After is my current favorite, but I'm partial for any fireworks, LL. <laughs> yeah, Sabrina, like... Any fireworks Disney does are pretty, like, magical and beautiful, so no complaints here. Absolutely. I love when they test the uh, lasers. <laughs> exactly, well, the thriller. Laser beams. Sharks with lasers on their heads. Craig says, I missed the Mountain Challenge stream. How did you guys make out? It was great, Craig. Well, no worries at all, Craig. And if you want to check it out, we do have it up on our channel. We do. Yeah, it was awesome. Like, a lot of things that were not expected happened, and they were wonderful. So, it was, it was an awesome, awesome day. It was an awesome day. And we accomplished what we set out to do. We did the Mountain Challenge, park hopper style. Ryan, we go to Animal Kingdom uh, pretty often. We were there on Sunday as a part of the Mountain Challenge. We also were there the week before. Uh, we go pretty much weekly to Animal Kingdom, I'd say. Yeah, and all our live streams are posted right back up on our channel, so if there's anything you missed or anything you want to check out later on and at your leisure, it's all up on the channel. It certainly is. And when you check out those videos, if you'd like to leave it a thumbs up, that's also very helpful. It is. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, guys. Oh, Marty M just posted up our link for the Mountain Challenge. Thank Thanks. you, Marty M. Hi, Shamna. Welcome in. Great to have you here. Rox, uh, Roxanne, we do not currently have merchandise. We've been uh, looking at getting some things together, but we don't at this moment. Maybe one day, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, Mike was asking, doing anything after the fireworks? We intend to uh, try to see whether or not we can meet the princesses behind the castle still. Yeah. It's been a while, you know? It has been a while. Thank you, Marty M. Live streams are here, and that is the link, guys. Ten minute warning. Good evening, dreamers of all ages. In just ten minutes, the Magic Kingdom invites you to enjoy our nighttime spectacular Happily Ever After, presented by Pandora Jewelry. Our journey begins in just ten minutes. Thank you. Nikki said, the moment I see a fire coffee shop and bag, I'm buying them all. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much, Nikki Mouse. Oh, Picker and Honeydew. We are the current record holders for Rise of the Resistance. 16 rides, 2 coffees, 1 cookie, 1 secret interrogation queue, and the ride average was 49.3 minutes per ride with no lightning lanes. Hey, Cap Crunch. Good to see you. Hey, Cap Crunch. Hey, Bobby. Bobby says, I work at Disney and I appreciate you guys doing this. LOL, I'm just too lazy to go out at night. Our oh, pleasure. <laughs> thank you so much for being here, Bobby, and thank you for making the magic. Saluda, Dorian. Hola, Dorian. Gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Dorian says hello from Costa Rica. Before the fireworks, it's always so beautiful. And also, I'm appreciating that breeze that's happening right now. Oh, yeah. Nikki says, Cap Crunch, I feel like you're following me. Just kidding. <laughs> I always feel like somebody's watching me. You and Darby get together, so I'll take a picture. Of course, Doria. Gracias a usted para para estar aquí con nosotros. Mike Leonard wants to know what do you all do when you're not live streaming? We adults. Yeah, adults, and uh, just work on the social media and getting more content out there for you guys to enjoy, you know? Yep. Jim Dempsey says, Baker and Honeydew, don't forget about the popcorn on the floor, on the ground. Should we call that Floorville Redbocker? Redbocker? Mike had asked what we do when we're not live streaming. Cam Crunch says, Mike Leonard, they shop for hats and spirit jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a thing. Well, thank you so much, Isaac Neal, for dropping our Patreon link. We appreciate that. Thank you, Isaac. Guillermo Montes says, what about a food challenge at Epcot during food and wine? That would be really cool. Oh, no. Sabrina B says, I saw some fog juice over in Costco the other day and immediately thought of you, Monica. No way, Sabrina. That's so cool. I haven't seen any pug juice over at our Costco just yet, but as soon as I do, I will buy one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Roxanne says, my mom said hi. Well, hello to your mom, Roxanne. Hope you guys are having an awesome time and are about to enjoy the fireworks. All right, guys, we're about to get the five minute warning. We are at 5,298 subscribers, guys. Two away from 5,300. Thank you so much. So when the five uh, minute warning happens, guys, you'll notice that the castle will change colors. So keep an eye on the castle. I'll zoom in a little bit here. See if we can get a better view of it. Right there. Oh, yeah, 
Bobby, we have uh, shown that before in live stream. Sure. The filler magic. Oh, yeah. Here's the five minute warning, everybody. Watch the castle. Good evening, dreamers of all ages. In just a few minutes, the Magic Kingdom would like you to enjoy our nighttime spectacular, Happily Ever After, presented by Pandora Door. In order for you to fully experience tonight's performance, the lighting around the Magic Kingdom will be reduced. For your own safety and for that of others, we ask that you remain in the same location until the lighting returns to normal. Our journey will begin in just a few minutes. Thank you. Hey, Shesky. Hey Patrick. All right. Hopefully you guys saw that. Uh, it's crazy how much it changes going from such a, a blue and uh, pink to just this beautiful effervescence. Of Nikki. Nikki pay, uh, Venmoed us ten dollars, saying, "Whoops, my finger slipped." Oh well, might as well show uh, buy something fun. Thank you so much, Nikki. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Nikki. Nikki, thank you for the ten dollars bill. We really appreciate that, guys. We are less than uh, less than four minutes away from the fireworks now. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoy happily ever after. Immediately after happily ever after, it's going to be a madhouse trying to get out of the park. It's a madhouse right now. So we're going to be making our way against the currents of people. We're going to be heading towards the castle instead of away from it. We're going to try to go behind it to, see, to go see if we can meet some princesses. If we uh, make it. If we make it. So that's the plan for right now, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the fireworks, and you know, we'll talk to you on the other side of that. So thank you guys so much. Yeah. One last time, guys. We are the Park Coppers from Monica Nair. We're live from the parks all the time now. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that. And we hope you guys enjoy the fire excitement. It's okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Mark. Hey, Mortimer. If we don't get trampled by the herd, that's fair. But, uh, you know, it's all part of it. We'll figure it out. Oh, and thank you so much, Nikki Mouse. That is our Instagram link, guys. If you guys would like to follow us on there, that'd be awesome. We're almost at a thousand followers on Instagram. Almost there. Everyone standing up for the fireworks right now. Now's a good time to stretch your legs, get some circulation back in your toes, and get ready. It's uh, happily ever after is about to begin. One more minute, guys. Here we go. Tippity do, the park was very busy today. That's awesome, Stephen. Welcome in, Hatbox Mike. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Less than a minute left, guys. We're looking at 30 seconds, everybody. Enjoy happily ever after. Twenty seconds. Hey, Andy. Here we 
go, guys. Three seconds. Enjoy happily ever after.
Happily ever after, everybody. Let's hurry up and get into uh, Starbucks real quick. Avoid the crowd here. Excuse this, guys. Sorry about that. Hi. Well, hello there. Thank you. Really, I'm a nurse over in Melbourne. Well, thank you for what you do. I will be charging and on my phone right here. Miss Shell and Jim, that was so nice. If you that guys watch this back, thank you once again for saying hi. And Michelle is a nurse, so thank you so much for all you do, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah. Thank so, you so much, Isaac Nail for and uh, Prince Ryan. Thank you guys so much. 
Thank um, you. And a special thank you. I screenshotted it so I wouldn't forget. Um, let me pull that up here. Well, Monica's looking for that, guys. We are the Park Hoppers for Monica and Eric. We go live in the parks all the time. So if you guys uh, haven't done so, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Yeah. We're going to get a water while we're here at Starbucks. And then we're going to head well. <laughs> over to the back of the castle to go see if we can see some princesses. Yeah. If you'd like to be a part of that, stick around. We'll, uh, we're not done yet. So thank you guys for being here. And Shrisky, thank you so much for the 1999 Shrisky. Super Chat. Saying hope you all have great success. Thank you so much, Shrisky. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. Really appreciate that. We really do. And we're going to very quickly also need to do a quick refresh, guys. Chat's completely stopped on my end. So uh, we'll be right back. Next guest. Oh, good. It's crazy out there. Definitely. It's, yeah. We just wanted to look in for two cups of water. Wait, what was your name? All right, we should be back, everybody. That's our ice butter. That's our ice butter? Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night. Good to see you again, Emily. Thank you. Oh, no. Maybe we should have stayed inside a little longer. <laughs> Are you ready uh, to head back out there? As soon as you are, I guess, yeah. I don't know, this kind of scary. <laughs> Let's do it. We can brave it, we got this. After you, honey. Thank you. Amy Lynn's in here, happy. Happy birthday, Kawaii Kitty. Happy birthday, Kawaii Kitty. Hey Alyssa! Folks, if you're trying to stay in the car, the easiest way to go might be towards the castle. All right. If you're staying in the park, you're going to go up towards the castle. If you're exiting the park, you're going to head down towards Main Street. Hey, Paolo. If you're staying in the park, you're going to go up to the castle. If you're exiting the park, <laughs> exactly, Marty. Marty's like, no, obstacle course. Yes, course. we have two birthdays in the chat that we know of. Kawaii Kitty and Grasshopper's wife. Happy birthday, guys. And to any other, anybody celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys. Hey, Stephanie Keel. Hey, Aaron. All right. As soon as we can, we're going to get up and hang a right, because I don't think they're going to let us go through the castle yet. Well, by the time we get there, who knows? Oh, that's fair. <laughs> we're stuck in bumper, bumper traffic at the moment. We are. Are we better on the left side or the right side? Definitely the right side. Okay. We'll get trampled on the left. That's fair. Theo Sam Eagle is celebrating his unbirthday today. Well, happy unbirthday, Theo Sam Eagle. <laughs> hey, Douglas Potter. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Hey, Simon. <laughs> It's a holiday weekend and summer crowd, so it's just a little elevated right now. A little. Hey, Marcella. Hey, Craig M. Thank you so much. Hey, Pilar. Yeah, it's a 4th of July weekend. Um, Independence Day. Independence Day, yes. And also it's just the summertime. Kids are out of school, you know, enjoying vacations here at Disney World. So summer crowds are typically kind of like this. Yep. Look at it. 
Calistoga Steve, good to see you again. Yeah, it's it's hot. It is hot. Hey Robbie. Alright, which way should we go? Because they haven't opened up the pathway through the castle yet. They won't until they drop all the ropes behind the castle also. So they're currently doing rounds making sure there's no uh, debris from the fireworks. We can head forward and yeah, we can cut right. Because it's a little less hectic this way. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for 429 likes. That's awesome. We really appreciate that. All right. Robbie says, my eight-year-old baby G says hi. Well, hello there, baby G. TTA is still closed. Oh yeah, they are, uh, they're not going anywhere fast, that's for sure. People Mover is not moving the people right now. It I wonder not. what happened. It went back to being the people remover. So. It's once again, it has become the people re 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 mover. So, guys, we're kind of taking a long way around to get to the back of the castle, but uh, it was nice just to get out of uh, the mess that uh, heading to the back of the castle would have. Uh, resulted in so we're making our way that way we have we, we believe we have about uh, 10 to 15 minutes before the princesses come out anyway oh yeah at least so because they haven't even cleared out that area yet right Nikki Mouse is like so people stop her pretty much exactly Paolo says my birthday is on the 19th of July well happy early birthday Paolo happy early birthday Oh yeah. Yeah, meeting the princesses over at the carousel is such a cool experience. It is. Mickey Mouse says, my birthday is January 7th, but I'm claiming the whole month. That's the rule, lol. I agree, Nikki. Happy early birthday or is it belated? I guess early. Both. Both. <laughs> Or, or um, like the Mad Sea Party, happy end birthday. There you go. Hey, Smooth Let's Play, good to see you again. Missy says, mine's October, that's awesome. That is awesome. Happy end birthday. Happy end birthday. <laughs> Koi Kitty says, haha, claim the whole year, Nikki Mouse. <laughs> hey guys, this is my birth year. I was born sometime within this year, so I claim this as my birth year. Zori says my birthday is November 8th. Happy on birthday, Zori. Happy on birthday. Oh, Kawaii Kitty says it's also her husband's birthday, the same as Zori. That's awesome. That is awesome. Ryan Hay says thank you for bringing a little Disney to those of us who are not there. Our pleasure, Brian. Absolutely, Thank you guys Brian. for joining us. That's what we love to do. Back side or front side of uh, teacups, honey? Either way. I um, see. I'm like, they're both crowded. <laughs> I don't want to fight the crowd is the problem, so I think it's better to go with the flow on this one. We could always go through the inside part. We could. Go with the flow. Three more months for Missy's birthday. Happy early birthday. Tara says my birthday month ends tomorrow. Well, 
hope you had a wonderful birthday celebration, Tara. Absolutely. Bobby says, my birthday was last week, the 24th. Happy birthday, June people, for sure. Happy belated birthday, Bobby. Hey, my Casale. We're glad you made it home okay. Hey, Craig. And thank you. Positivity is really the way to go, you know? Yes. Even when, you know, it's not so easy. It's always the best way. Do you... No. What okay. happened? Let's go a little bit more to the right. Okay. As I almost get us run into more people. Yeah. <laughs> it's just part of it. <laughs> it's a little dark in this section in particular too, so just be careful when you're in this part yep. of the park at night. It gets a little dark here. Hey Jay, Harry, hey, good to see you again. Thank you for Ninja watching, we appreciate that. Hey Glenn! Hey Glenn! Oh, Alright, we are almost to the carousel everybody. Yeah. Good evening, who's your mic? Have a great night, Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean says, sadly, I have to go to bed, but I have one more question. Can you still walk around the park with, uh, without buying anything extra, or do you have to buy anything? Um, you don't have to buy anything extra to walk around the park. No, I don't think you have to buy anything extra at all. And um, Disney gives uh, complimentary water at quick service locations. Yeah. So, uh, you know, take advantage of the complimentary water. And I think you're pretty much set, unless you want to eat something, you know? Yeah. But also, you can bring your own snacks. True. Yeah. Hopefully that helped, Jelly Bean. Thank you for being here and have a great night. Hey, make her move. All right, guys. Almost to where the princess has come out at the castle here. Oh, it's so weird. We haven't been here since they uh, dropped the walls. It is weird. Huh? Kenny, the Magic Kingdom closes tonight at 10 p.m. It certainly does. But remember, the stores do stay open an hour after close at all the parks. They do. In the front of the park. Hey, Caleb. Great to see you. <laughs> well, the thriller, that would be amazing. Well, the thriller said, Park Coppers, in the summer weather, there should be free Mickey Mouse, cream, uh, Mickey Mouse ice cream bars and Mickey Mouse ice cream sandwiches. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing, Will. That would be. There was a baby bell up there. Hey, good Tago. Great to see you guys, and hello, of course, to all Ninja Watchers. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. Thank you. Oh, good to go. I see. Oh, my bad. <laughs> no, I was just trying to make sense of it. That's an awesome name. Good to go. Hey, Thomas M. Maker Moose says, I noticed the castle is back to normal since the 50th. Does it turn multicolored like it used to? Uh, it depends on what you mean by multicolored. If you mean like blue and pink, yes. Um, Outside of that, uh, all the projections during the fireworks, of course, and things like that. But otherwise, uh, no, let's see. Let me unplug this now. Hold on, everybody. Sorry about that. All right, just need to unplug all that. Take that out as well. Should be set for the rest of the night. All right. Let me get you guys back on the tripod. Hey, Daniel Ramirez. That does sound beautiful, Maker. All right, let's see here. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Sonic. Hey, Scott Mackie. 
Scott Mackey says, hey, Park Hoppers, so excited. Just booked our tickets for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas and Jollywood Nights in December. That's awesome, Scott that's, Mackey. That's so awesome, Scott. We hope you enjoy it. All right, back on there. Good to go. Excellent. All right, so you guys right here for a second. Get everything plugged back in. All right, so based on our experience, guys, within the next 10 minutes, at uh, so, some point uh, within the next 10 minutes, we should be seeing princesses leaving the castle, come out here and greet their loyal subjects. You want me to hold the gimbal? If you don't mind, that's okay. Thank yeah, you. I got it. Please understand, says, tune in back in from California. Amazing views, guys. Need to be there ASAP. That's awesome. Please understand. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you. Mariam is asking, how many subscribers do we have? Oh, good question, Mariam. Let's take a look. Steve says, half marathon race starting. That's awesome. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. We're at 5,308 subscribers now. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, guys. That's amazing. You helped us reach 5,300 today. Thank you to each and every one of you. We really appreciate it. Thank you. That's awesome. All right. Have we been to Cinderella's Royal Table? Uh, not yet, Kristen. That'd be a really neat thing to do, but we haven't been there yet. So let's go ahead and turn it around. And if we ever have the opportunity to, we will. Absolutely. Oh, the light looks really bad. <laughs> I guess we have to walk away from it a little bit. Away from it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. I'm like, oh no, the shadows make us look way more tired than we are. We're really not that tired. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you for all of your support, all of your help today. We're not done yet. We're going to see the princesses here in a moment. We just wanted to turn around and say thank you. Uh, once again, guys, just as a reminder, we are the Park Hoppers. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to be able to bring you along with us again in the future. Around Walt Disney World, we are at 5,308 subscribers as of now, guys. We sincerely appreciate Thank each and so every much. one of you. That That's is an incredible. That's amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. And guys, uh, we will be back, of course, once we end tonight uh, from Hollywood Studios sometime this weekend, either Friday yeah. or Saturday. Either Friday or Saturday. We'll figure it out. <laughs> exactly. And we'll be uh, going to other parks as well very soon. Uh, we will potentially be live on the 4th. It totally depends on what we're up to that day. Uh, yeah. We have the reservation just in case. So keep an eye on uh, your indicators, guys. We'll, uh, we'll put out all the notica no notifications. notifications. And notifications. guys, we're not ending just yet. We're just hanging out waiting uh, for the princesses. Yeah. They should be out any minute, right? Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock. So anywhere between 10 to 10 07, we've seen them. So. Yeah. Joshua, hey, are we going to Disney World first time? Uh, Joshua said we are going to Disney World. Oh, first time. you are That's going awesome, to Disney Oh, I understand now. Sorry about that, Joshua. That's amazing. Hope you have an awesome vacation. Calistoga Steve says, do they use the princesses to remove people from the park at closing? <laughs> that would be hilarious. That would be a very like magical way to say, uh, have a good night, everybody. <laughs> Bibbidi bobbidi be gone. All right, let's turn it around, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Alrighty. Oh, well, thank you so much, Barbara Taft. We hope you have a wonderful night. Dan the Man says the restaurant in the castle is an experience. The room is magnificent. The view is incredible. And the food is excellent. The service is elegant. Great show tonight. That's awesome, Dan the Man. Thank you. Wow. Uh, yeah, everything we've seen about uh, Cinderella's royal table looks so stunning. Um, and we very much look forward to going there one day. Beaker and Honeydew, I think uh, I think you can leave your down coat at home. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a raincoat. You might want a raincoat. A yeah, that might yeah be a, a comfortable raincoat would be a good idea. I don't think they would survive going down Main Street in a down coat, Kawaii Kitty. Grand Poppy will be here Sunday. That's awesome, Grand Poppy. That's awesome. Safe travels and help you have an awesome vacation. Bye, Brian. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a great night, Brian. Nicky Mouse says, what's a raincoat? <laughs> what you definitely need in Florida, exactly. especially during summertime. 
Kevin, we saw Tinkerbell fly over as a part of the fireworks. Kristen says, I want to go for my birthday one year. I think that would be a fun princess dinner. Yeah, that would be so cool. We hope you get to. Absolutely. Oh, thank you so much, Jenna. Jenna says, thank you for being so kind and positive even when setbacks occur. You two are amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Jenna. You guys are amazing. We appreciate all the support. Thank you. <laughs> Megan's like a Rinko. Who needs that? <laughs> Everybody in Florida? <laughs> Rain is intense, especially during summertime. You never know when a rainstorm is going to happen. Especially in Orlando, it's like rain can happen and it can be intense for like five minutes and then gone and beautiful and like the rest of the day. It's, yeah. it's kind of wild. And if not a raincoat, maybe a poncho, some umbrellas, or brollies, brollies. Brolly, brolly. brolly. <laughs> well, whatever is more comfortable for you, whether it be a raincoat, a poncho, a brolly. Like all the things we use in the parks, uh, whether it be tech or like park gear, we have that all listed in the description down below if you guys ever want to check that out. We do. So the princesses should be coming out in the next uh, two to five minutes. Let's see. Do we want to stand here or... Yeah, I guess this is still the better place to be. I think here's the better spot. Bobby's like, either humidity or rain happened in Florida, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Most of the time, both, especially during summer. Megan says, we get nor'easters. Raincoats are not necessary for us crazy people. <laughs> oh, thank you, Steve. Dana Curry says, thank you for a great stream. I worked at Disney from 87 to 91, and it was so fun to watch the streams. That's awesome. Dude. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you uh, for when you worked here. Thank you for making the magic. That's awesome. That is. Yes, bringing an extra pair of socks is probably a good idea. Or like, uh, you could wear Crocs or just like sandals that are good for the water, things like that. Craig M, thank you so much. Just real quick guys, while we're waiting on the princesses, Craig M, thank you for the $9.99 PayPal. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Craig. Uh, welcome aboard, we're very happy to have you here. And uh, as we always say guys, the best way to support us is by watching and subscribing. Thank you so much for that, Craig. We really appreciate that. Let's uh, turn it back around so we can catch the princesses when they're here. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Craig. So Cinderella's stepsisters are a lot of fun and they do come out, but during the day, not at night. Yeah, we've seen them a few times on our way to the uh, cavalc the second cavalcade or the first cavalcade a few times? The first cavalcade. Yeah, yep. so on our way to the first cavalcade a few times during our live streams, but you can watch any of them back. Um, we've seen the stepsisters. We even saw them once, uh, the stepsisters with Cinderella. Yeah. And that was a really cool one. Kristen Henning says, my brown grass from Wisconsin needs some Florida rain. Well, we hope you get some rain, uh, Kristen. Welcome in. Hans is, says, watching from Boho, Philippines. Thank you so much. Hey, Hans. Good to see you again. Why it's Grampy. We're not certain if the princesses do this every night. Um, we're but, not even 100% certain if they still do it tonight. Yeah, we're not even sure if they're going to be doing this tonight. But we're hanging out and seeing if it does happen. Yep. It's nothing like official on the app or anything like that just yet. No, there's, there's really no information out there about this. This is something they started doing recently, yeah. and uh, hopefully they're still doing it, because it's a really cool thing. <laughs> exactly, Marcella. That is uh, what we found, is that somewhere around 10.06. Yeah, I think the last time was 10.04. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It differs. Um, it does. You know, they're princesses. <laughs> and it is, about, uh -huh. it is about 10.06 right now. So, That's true. Uh, they're allowed to be fashionably late. Yeah, exactly. It's the princesses. Thank you so much. Have a great night, Ryan. Nikki says, Koi, and that's why I bring maybe two extra outfits. I want to shop for the rest. That's a good strategy, Nikki Mouse. <laughs> and plus, also really smart because you're leaving room in the luggage. There you go. Jenna, yes, the castle looks so stunning. Oh no, Kawaii Kitty. 
Yeah, we're Kitty says, Haha, Nicky Mouse, my mom basically told me I get to go on a shopping spree for my birthday and she didn't put a cap on it. So... That's awesome, Kawaii Kitty. Hi, Chloe. Kevin says, hello, I'm with my 12-year-old daughter, Chloe. Can you please say hi to her? Of course, Kevin. Hey to Chloe. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out with us. Absolutely. And in case you're just coming into the stream, we are here at Disney's Magic Kingdom in Orlando, Florida. Where we have uh, just experienced Happily Ever After just a few moments ago. And we're currently behind the castle seeing if the princesses come out tonight. Yeah. This is usually about the time that they come out. So we're just sticking it out a little bit longer. It could be because of the uh, large amount of crowd that they might come out a little bit later. We'll or see. they might not come out at all. So yeah, we'll hang out for a bit. Exactly. So it totally differs and uh, depends on the night. Uh, we'll see whether or not it's something that they're still doing. Mickey Mouse says, wait, so y'all don't bring an extra large suitcase? Just for souvenirs. <laughs> that's, that's really smart. Charles Dominguez says, I'm typically late to the party, but I'm flying to Walt Disney World on the 5th of October, which coincidentally is also my birthday. Happy early birthday, Charles. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> that's awesome, Charles. Happy early birthday. Hey, Shauna. Good to see you. Hey, Shauna. Kristen says, if I, spy, if I fly Spirit, I shove so much into a duffel bag. Shipping home is a lifesaver. Oh, that's a good idea, too, to ship home any souvenirs you don't want to uh, travel with. That's true. Meager and Honey do say, yes, take an extra suitcase. Always bring it back home. More than you can take. <laughs> that's a good strategy as well. And while we're here waiting for the princesses, hopefully they arrive. A special shout out and happy birthday wishes to Kawaii Kitty, Grasshopper's wife, and to anyone else celebrating a birthday today. Absolutely. Marty, like over 500 of us are waiting to see them. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully they come out tonight. I mean, the crowds are pretty thick today, so if and when they do, they might be waiting for it to thin out some. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Glenn. And especially if you're staying at a Disney resort, like, they help you with that. <laughs> Steve, they might be stuck on the people mover. You never know. Of course, Kawaii Kitty. They certainly do make castle-sized suitcases, Nicky Mouse. Uh, especially the uh, $250,000 castle that's in the Arribas Brothers. <laughs> I would never put that in a suitcase. Oh my gosh. Well, no. Good news, because once it's purchased, it takes six to seven months for them to create it and send it to you. Oh, that's true. Kristen says the view is still amazing, even if they don't come. That's true. That's it is fair. really pretty. Oh, Beaker and Honey, do you say Nicky Mouse? Yes, they do. FedEx. That's awesome. Kevin says, who is your favorite princess? Chloe's favorite is Belle. That's awesome. <laughs> Nikki says, someone dropped the link. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kitty says, I don't even know if I'll want it in six to ten months. I would say some of my favorite princesses include Belle, definitely. Um, Mulan, for sure. Uh, Pocahontas. I think those are like kind of my top three right there. In no particular order. I also really like Rapunzel. You favor the uh, strong and smart princesses. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Davis says, so I can't take the $250,000 castle on Tron after I buy it? I mean, if you got a chest mount for it, Jeff, <laughs> you just got to come back in six to ten months once you have it again. Zori says there's too many princesses to choose. That's true. Hey, Shannon. Shannon says Cinderella's her favorite. That's awesome. Road to Nowhere with Vinyl Traveler says, Hey, guys. Happy Thursday. Happy, happy Thursday, Thursday, guys. Yeah, and if chat, if you guys would like to share with us who's your favorite Disney princess or and or prince, yeah. let us know in the chat. Glenn says, Mine is Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine's an awesome princess as well. I was just checking behind us to make sure that they're not like walking around like they had gotten past us. Well, they normally come through Cinderella's castle. That is true. But yeah, I've been looking back as well to make sure we don't miss them. 
It is now 10.10. Hmm. We'll see. All right, let's see if anybody is sharing who their favorite princess is in oh my chat. Gosh. Uh, Jeff Davis says, Princess Leia is my favorite Disney princess. That's an awesome Disney princess. Nikki Mouse says, Merida. Merida. Oh, yes, Merida. Sophia Kondo says, Aurora. Charles oh, is saying, thank you to Kauai. <laughs> Kristen says, Ariel is my favorite. Caleb says, mine is Snow White. Awesome picks, guys. Shauna says, my favorite princess were always Rapunzel and Mulan as a kid. Kevin says, mine is Moana. I think Kevin said it is, mine is Moana. Oh, possibly, yeah. yeah. Oh, Glenn even has a tattoo of her. That's really cool. That is. Princess Ryan's favorite is Aurora. Mark says, Ariel and Eric named my Yorkie after her. Oh my that's awesome. goodness, that's so cute, Mark. Patrick Julian says, my favorite Disney princess is Ariel. We should see Ariel here if they come out. Hey, Jen. Jen says, Tiana and Moana. Kirk says it's Elsa for me. Let's see here. Shauna <laughs> says, OMG, wait, Princess Shuri from Black Panther. That's a pretty awesome Kirk. Zach says Jasmine. Mike says the first one I remember, Snow White. Yes, she is the first and most classic and iconic Disney princess of all. And the fairest. Amanda Frank says Belle always has been. Very cool. Aaron's favorite is Aurora. Well, guys, if the princesses do come out tonight, we've typically seen Aurora, Princess Aurora, Princess Jasmine, Princess Ariel, and uh, Princess Snow White. We have. Those are the, typically the four princesses we've seen when they come out. And then during fireworks, happily ever after, we have seen uh, Prin uh, Cinderella um, just like wandering about and just uh, enjoying the fireworks with uh, kiddos, which has been beautiful. It has been. Let's uh, come over here. Oh, boy. I'm not sure uh, Not sure how much longer it'll be if they're going to be coming out tonight. We're looking at 10.13 uh, now. Hopefully they come out. It's, uh, the crowd has certainly gotten thinner since, uh, since we first came around here. Oh, Marty M. Is there another princess with that name? Or is that just no, no, Marty M being very nice? That's <laughs> <laughs> Marty Ann says Princess Monica. Oh, thank you, Marty Ann. Making me blush over here. Marty Ann taking my line. <laughs> Jasmine says Elsa and Ariel, Jasmine and Belle in Snow White. Wow, Jasmine has a lot of favorites. Totally get that. Avila says Shuri. Alyssa says Ariel. Brianna says, oh, Brian. Hey, guys. Hey, Brian. <laughs> hey, Brian. November's very own says Belle is my favorite. Great picks, guys. They are great picks. Uh, Zori says Ariel, Jasmine, Snow White, Aurora, and Cinderella. Well, you are in luck because those <laughs> are all of the princesses that we have seen around the fireworks. <laughs> Typically. Typically. Jeff Davis says Princess Fiona. Wait, wrong movie studio. <laughs> Wait, that one's DreamWorks. Hold on. <laughs> that is an awesome princess, though. Definitely agree with that. She has layers, like an onion. Zach says, uh, Dory, Dory does, does that count? That count? <laughs> I don't think Dory's technically a Disney princess, but that could be definitely a Disney, uh, fairy Disney character right there. She could easily be a Disney princess that just doesn't remember that she's a Disney princess. Oh, that's totally possible. I, I could see that. But what she does remember is P. Sherman 42 Wallaby West Sydney. <laughs> Kawaii Kitty says 18 more likes to 500, guys. If you haven't already given us a like, if you kindly would hit that like button for us, We'd that really would be awesome. That. Thank you, everybody. Let's see. Uh, Willa Thriller says there should be a princess coffee. I wonder who that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I be princess coffee? I would love to be princess coffee. <laughs> princess coffee or princess caffeine? Oh, okay. Princess caffeine because I also really like Starbucks refreshers. <laughs> Bambi's favorite is Moana. She is Moana. Kawaii Kitty says, she might not remember she is the princess. Oh, well. exactly, Eric. Hey, Michelle B. Hey, Rich Grogan. Rich says, hey, guys, thank you for the stream tonight. You guys rock. Thank you so much, Rich. Thank you, Rich. Wyatt's Grampy says, Princess Starbucks cold brew. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, I don't know if I've ever had a Starbucks cold brew. Really? I had that shaken one. Was that uh, was that hard cold brew? That shaken? I shaken Jamaican? No, I am thinking shaken Jamaican of Joffrey's. I have had cold brew at, over at Joffrey's though, but not a Starbucks. That's fair. Kawaii Kitty, I am Kawaii. <laughs> Oh, who's there? Mike makes a good point. Seems to me they came out at about 10.06 when the park was closing, uh, was open till 11. Have they been out when the park started closing at 10? Yes, they have. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, last time we were here uh, for them, it, the park had closed at 10 and they came out at 10.07 or so. Yeah, I remember that. That's so, true. Uh, we are hanging out just a little bit longer. It's uh, not we'll looking... It, we'll give it like a, few, a couple more minutes. Yeah, it's not looking super good. But, but uh, hopefully they come off. Seeing the castle is really cool. It is. Hey, Jen, uh, Jen says, oh, can't forget about Vanellope. That's true. Huh? She is a princess. She is. Holy cow, guys. Thank you so much. Mike says, Dory, okay, my favorite princess is Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. Nemo from uh, Thousand Leagues Under the Sea? No. Oh, okay. From Finding Nemo. We're not talking cats and Nemo. No. Okay. Oh, Kawaii Kitty would like to say, I am Kawaii. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for all of your support. You've helped us reach 5,318 subscribers tonight. That's amazing. Oh thank my you. God. Thank you guys so much. That puts us at 80 subscribers on the day. That's incredible. Thank you guys. We sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. That's amazing. The newest princess is Raya, says Jeff Davis. Is it? Is it really? Hey Joe, Joe says, be there in two weeks, see you soon. That's awesome, Joe. Safe travels. Hope you have an awesome vacation. Megan says, Captain Nemo? There's more than one Nemo? <laughs> there sure is. Rian says, my favorite princesses are Rapunzel, Moana, Mulan, and Tiana. Amazing choices. It's an awesome list. Oh, Jeff says, cold brew, shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Beaker and Honeydew say, wait, what? Princess cold brew? Must try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's in there? I see cast members. Oh, cast members are a good sign. <gasps> Those are, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe. That's a possibility. I don't think so. I, I thought she was going to be escorting the princesses, but uh, we can maybe ask them whether or not uh, they're aware of the princesses coming out to meet their little supports. Oh, tonight. yeah, we can definitely ask. And Kirk, yeah, definitely. Princess Leia, for sure. All right, are they coming this way? Yep, we're moving quick. I'll go ask. You got it? Yeah, so 20,000 leagues under the sea. The uh, captain of the submarine was Captain Nemo. So Monica's talking with the cast members right now. We'll find out whether or not the princesses uh, are coming out tonight. Um, yeah, they confirmed the princesses um, have left to their royal castles for the okay. evening. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. The princesses are done for the night, guys. Looks like we missed them tonight, but... It's all right. There's always another night. There is another night. Exactly. We'll catch them next time, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, though. We really appreciate that. You want to go out to the front of the castle? Uh, yes. We've enjoyed the back of the castle. Let's go enjoy the front of the castle. And I especially love just walking through the castle. Oh, yeah. The beautiful mosaic. Theo San Miguel, the princesses have left the building. Well, thank you, Coda. Guys, we are four likes away from 500. If you haven't already hit that like button, please hit that like button for us. It really helps us out. It does. They need their beauty sleep, says Mario. Alrighty, guys. Wow, look at that crowd still. 
goodness gracious. All right, let's come right over here. Which uh, Brogan is asking if we're going to be at Magic on the 4th for fireworks. So, yeah. We have to figure that out still. Yeah, we're going to figure that out. And we'll post up our schedule as soon as possible. Exactly. As soon as we know, we'll, uh, we'll let you guys know. We got to 500 likes. Thank you so much, everybody. That's Thank you, amazing. guys. That's awesome. A little bit of light? Oh, I don't think I need light. <laughs> no, I guess we do need light to say goodnight to everybody, huh? I think so. It is a pretty cool spot to take a night. It is a pretty cool spot. Is that it? Like, light like that you mean? Yeah, just like right there. Oh. There we go. And Let's then find it's something with a white background. There we go. Alright. That works there. There we go. Kind of We're see telling us. ghost stories, Ghost everybody. stories. Guys. Getting ready for Halloween time. Yeah, right. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today, guys. We really appreciate it. We're going to be heading home. Uh, we'll see you guys very soon. We're going to be live again from uh, Hollywood Studios next. Yes. Uh, which day that is, we're not 100% certain just yet. It'll either be tomorrow or Saturday, guys. Exactly. We'll uh, we'll let you guys know through the community posts. We'll let you know uh, by the posts that we have up already for it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. It has been a magical day here at uh, the Magic Kingdom, despite the massive amount of crowds. <laughs> it really has, though. So, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us, for spending the day with us, for enjoying the Magic Kingdom with us, and we'll catch you again real soon, okay? And a special shout-out and thanks to all our moderators who we can't do this without, so thank you, moderators. You guys rock. And thank you to each and every one of you who subscribed either now or uh, in the past at any point, guys. Thank you so much for that. Thank you to everyone who kept us uh, company in the chat today. Thank you to all Ninja Watchers. We really appreciate you guys as well. Also, uh, big thanks to our Patreon members. Thank you to everybody for the PayPal's, the Venmo's, Super Chats today. We really appreciate it. The memberships. Yes. Thank you for the gifted memberships. We really appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. We sincerely appreciate all the support, and we look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Yeah. And we're going to turn it around and leave you with the beautiful view of the castle. The front side this time. The front side. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. Thank you, guys. Be safe. Oh. Almost forgot. What happened? Tomorrow morning, Ron on the Go is going to be live from one of the parks. Uh, and when this live stream ends, it'll send you guys right on over there. So oh, yeah. if you'd please hit that like button when you get over there, we'd really appreciate it. And if you're looking for something to watch in the morning, Ron on the Go will be live. There'll be some Disney in the morning there. Have a great night, everybody. Good night, guys. Thank you again so much. And see you next at Hollywood Studios, either tomorrow or on Saturday.